microphone is live. And here we are. Hello, everyone. I'm Stefan, the Game Teacher. And I'm Tracy, the Gaming Maven. So there are a few mosquitoes buzzing around here. If you see me <laughs> randomly swatting at the air, uh, don't be alarmed. I apologize. So yes, so just a little introduction for anyone who might be new to the channel or to our Twitch stream. Um, you can find us on To Die For Games. We're two of the three co-hosts of the video portion of To Die For Games. And we're also Dice Tower contributors, so you'll see us on the Board Game Breakfast and other segments. So today we're going to be uh, playing a game called The Capital, Cities Through Time. It is a game uh, published by Mercury Games. Designed by Thiago Buaventura, I hope I pronounced it okay. It's a two to five player game, and it's actually a fairly long game. It's just 90 minutes, and uh, with two players, it takes close to about 90 minutes. Sometimes a little bit longer, depending upon if certain things don't come out and how things go. But, uh, yeah. Um, it is a city building game, and we're going to have uh, d th play in three different eras. Uh, you will see... Uh, era tiles for uh, the first, second, and third eras, and new building tiles will come out in each era. Um, we're going to affect different tracks on the board, so I'll show you the overhead view here, and I'll kind of quickly describe the game board to give you a feel of what we're playing with. So here's our gameplay view, and let's flip over to that. Okay, so here we have the game board. Uh, up here and along the bottom, we have the economic track, which represents our financial <coughs> Mm -hmm. uh, means. Um, over here we have the culture track which is represented by this big music symbol. Here we have the public services track um, represented by the bell. In the middle here we have the employment track mm -hmm. and the population track. Mm -hmm. Now these are linked and I'll, I'll explain that in a moment. And down here we have the progress track which basically shows us our turns will play over 12 rounds uh, mm -hmm. with some intermediate scoring partway through at the end of each era, and we'll get to that in a minute. Now, I mentioned the population and the employment tracks. They're linked in that you can never have more employed people than you have population. And that kind of makes logical sense. You can't have more people working than you have people living in your city. So what we're also playing with today, did you, um, is we're going to be playing with the prosperity tiles. So um, it's an add-on to the base game. I find it, it kind of, I would recommend it. Like obviously it's got a lot of rules. There's a lot going on the first game, but right after the first game, I recommend putting them in. They just add a little bit more challenge and also some more in-game scoring, which is kind of nice. Uh, some some in-game and immediate scoring, depending. And it's an add-on that is included with the base game, at least the copy we got, so you don't have to mm -hmm. go out and buy it separately. And uh, so yes, yeah. so basically what happens very quickly with the setup is um, turn order now. One thing you might notice is it's kind of, it's kind of hard to see from here, but um, there is a three here. And even though we're only two players, we actually get, this is an initiative track. So we're going to actually get to play between these players. You might actually see us go into this third spot. You'll wonder, well, there's not three players. How can we go there? But that's going to be allowed. And um, Stefan and I have actually set up differently. There are two ways you can set up your starting. So each player will get uh, two construction tokens and two starting tiles as well as their pull plan, starting pull plan. Excuse me, you can set them up either this way or the way Stefan's got it, so vertically or horizontally, depending, as long as the two construction tokens are in between them. And um, one, as we play, you'll kind of see what they're for and how placement happens and stuff like that. So we're going to take actions on the main board, and then every turn, every round, we're going to get to add a new building tile from that current era into our city. So we're each going to grab one. Now, the building tiles available on offer are going to be up here at the top of the screen, top right. And uh, in every era, there are four, or in every turn, there are four building tiles on offer, and we'll top it up as we go. Mm -hmm. And occasionally, there might be some building tiles remaining from previous areas that we can acquire as well as we move into new areas. Yes. So another thing you might have noticed, if you can see these red ones being negatives and greens, yes, there are a lot of negative points in this game. You actually develop quite a few, but the idea is eventually as the game progresses, you actually gather more of the positive points that will work out against the negatives. So... You might start to notice picking up a lot of the red ones at first, and then we slowly start to pick up the green points. 
that's pretty normal in this game. So you're trying to work to a positive balance the end of the game. Now in this game, I'll be playing the purple co the purple color. Tracy playing is playing blue. blue. And we have a neutral player for a two player game. We take a couple of neutral player tokens. We've chosen green for that color. And uh, they will offset a couple of the limitations of a two player game by having those tokens available. So, and we'll explain how that goes. Uh, these are uh, tourist tokens, the little vehicles. Each player has one in their player color. And because we have the neutral player, we'll have the opportunity to maybe acquire the neutral player's tourist token throughout the course of the game. And that'll give us some additional flexibility in the actions we can take. Mm -hmm. And I think that's basically the general explanation as we go through, obviously, we'll be kind of explaining what we're doing. So I think... Just quickly overview, um, the points are how we gauge our end game success. So the person with the most points at the end of the game wins, even though it looks like this money track might Prestige. be... Uh, the economic track might be a scoring mechanism. Um, money isn't the only way to score points. There's lots no. of other ways. There are lots of other So ways. yes, we want to accumulate the most prestige points to have the most prestigious city in the land. Yeah. All right, so let's get to the gameplay. So uh, you, who is going first? You are first. It was randomly determined. This is the fans first. So you'll get to... Uh... So on this track, this is our initiative track, and the player closest to the left... Uh, end will play first. So in this case, purple, that's me. And my first action is to choose one of the building tiles that are on offer. Now it's hard to see over here. I have a heritage windmill, an iron foundry, a doctor, and a bookseller. And the different colors represent different types of buildings. You have industrial, commercial, you might have um, public services, uh, tourism, etc., etc. So what we're looking for here, we might have different strategies based on different building color tiles. Uh, right now, it's still too early in the game to formulate a deep strategy, so I'm just going to go for whatever gives me the most bonus points on the right side of the tile. Um, and looking at this, I'm going to take this red one here. So if I hold this up to the camera, the icons on the right side of the building tile give us an immediate effect when we take them. And they generally will allow you to move your uh, markers along the various tracks, depending on the tile you take. In some cases, green means you'll move ahead on the track, and a red indicator with a negative would mean you would move back on a track. So you might be penalized in some situations, but you know, rewarded in others. Mm -hmm. So I took the Heritage Windmill, and I'm gonna build it in my city. Um, when you build a tile, and I'll just explain this the one time, when you build a tile, um, you can build it anywhere in your city. However, there are penalties if you build it less than optimally. And there's two rules you have to abide by when placing a building tile to avoid paying any penalties. The first rule is if you can match uh, an existing color. So if you have, in my case, I already have a red tile and I chose a red tile. If I place it adjacent to the red tile, then I don't pay the adjacency penalty. And the other penalty you want to watch for is placing it in the construction area. So I could, if I wanted to, place this tile up here. However, because it's not adjacent to a red tile and because it's away from the construction zones, I would pay double penalties and that would be two prestige points uh, per condition that I don't meet. So I'd right. pay four prestige points and take those negative points from the tile. So to avoid getting those negative points right away, I will place that tile here, immediately move up on the public services track, and also on the culture track. So quickly just look at your lake tiles. Uh, it's one of the few, it's the only tile I didn't look through to see if there are four or five player ones. I had a five player one, so ah. you see a four or five on the bottom. Those are marked uh, on the bottom of the bottom tile. Right. All right, I'm so good. with that being said, now I could actually build any of those because you don't take a penalty if it's the first one of tile, a uh, type of building of that color going Correct. into your city. So I think I, uh, the thing is, I know it's worth it. I think we're gonna do that. We have a few viewers joining us. Thanks for tuning in. Hello, hello, welcome. We're just getting started in our first round of place. So you haven't missed much. Yeah, so I've got the Iron Foundry here. Now immediately the Iron Foundry will give me two on the progress. And then one employment. Now, you can never have more employment than you do population. Obviously, you can't have more people employed than you actually have. But you also will lose negative points if not all of your population is employed. And you lose those so. at the end of the era. The end of the era. So I'm going to get one on population. Or, sorry, employment. And like I said, because it is my first building of this color, I can play it anywhere. The, the placement requirements 
only require me to place next to a construction token to not take that penalty, Correct. but I don't take the penalty for color adjacency. Color adjacency. Yeah. Now this one, when I activate it, I'm going to lose two culture but gain two uh, employment. And we'll get to activate in a later phase now that we've built our buildings. Hello, bottom. Way back. Way back. <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, next phase after the uh, building phase, which we've just completed, is the tourism. So we look on the culture track and uh, cities with more culture will attract more tourists. Uh, I like to move up on the culture track because the tourist tokens allow you to take bonus activations for the tiles in your city mm -hmm. uh, and you can acquire uh, your own tourist token, your opponents, and in the case of a two player game we have this mutual third player's uh, tourist tokens. So there's a possibility of getting up to three tourist tokens. It depends on where you are on the track. Exactly. There are certain spots on the track where you get everybody that's lower than you in a certain area. Otherwise, you only get the lowest. And in this case, uh, you would actually take yeah. the neutral so players. In the, the neutral player always loses ties for culture. So in this case, uh, green, the neutral player, and blue, Tracy, are both tied with no culture. They're cultureless. Well, now now they're a cultural I'm, I'm more worried about and so my iron town right I will here. take <laughs> the tourist token of the neutral player and I'll be able to use that during the activation yes. phase because um, basically all these little yellow cubes that you get from your uh, various energy plants are what you use to activate so you basically get one activation until you uh, get better uh, plant power plant that will give you more activation so in this case this one gives you one it says on the top left here um, I'll get one activation. Your cars allow you to count them as a cube. So you could use them instead of using the limited, limited number of cubes you have, because you don't get these until you upgrade or possibly act, um, activate certain buildings. You can use this as a cube, but the thing is it doesn't come off. It, doesn't, it has to move in order for people to use it. So I think I'm actually, oh, actually you get to go first. Sorry, my apologies. Yeah. So as the first player, I'll get to activate first. Um, I get one activation. Now, because I have the highest culture on the culture track, I also get the highest culture token, which gives me an additional bonus activation. So whereas yes. my power plant only gives me one single activation, I get one extra activation for having the most culture. Mm. So there may be a seesaw effect on the culture track uh, to try and acquire this extra activation because it's kind of useful. Yes, it really is. Now, it really is. Activating a tile uh, simply costs you energy cubes or tourist tokens. Tourist tokens count as energy cubes for the purposes of activating a tile. And how many uh, tokens you have to spend to activate a tile will depend on the number of um, printed and placed uh, cubes that appear on each building activation. So in this case, this lightning bolt symbol means I can activate that for one more cube than appears on the tile. So because there's one cube printed on the tile, it would cost me two cubes in order to activate that tile. And what that does is allow me to trade one culture to get one employment. Down here, I can do an activation similarly for two cubes mm -hmm. and trade one culture to get seven money. So seven uh, money on the economic track is potentially really useful. I'm gonna go ahead and activate that one. Now I still have my tourism markers. And as I mentioned, each tourism marker can substitute for one energy cube. So I'm gonna go ahead and take second activation. I'm gonna resolve my first one, which is to lose one culture and get seven money. So that brings me to 20 and 13. And then I'll use the two tourism, tourism tokens on the other tile to activate it and lose one more culture. Now I'm tied in the, with the, the cultureless and uh, increase the uh, my employment on there. All right. So I am going to activate, I think I like, because both my city hall and my hotel, all of mine require me to lose culture. I'm lowest on the culture track. So I'm going to, I'm going to be losing money any which way I do it now. I'm just debating. I think I want. I'll be right back. To lose money. To gain that employment, because for me, gain employment is difficult. I always found it's very challenging to gain employment. So I'm going to lose a culture now. Um, even though I'm on the bottom, I still can lose, but I will take the penalty of three dollars. So I'm going to lose one, two, three dollars, but I will gain employment. Now this means my employment and my population are even, so I can't go up on the population track anymore. And sorry, I'm just going to um, 
mulligan that and I've used my uh, car as one of my cubes because I'm trying to hold on to my my cubes because they are very handy. Sure. So having done the activation phase for both players, now we'll go into the administrative phase where we um, basically do end of turn or end of round effects. All right. Uh, so that would be uh, administrative phase. So one thing, anyone who might be watching or any knows about this game, the original summary of play um, has the administrative phase in an order that it's not broken, but especially when you go to the end, this is something we discussed when we played this on Monday, going from era one, like um, round four to five and, and eight to nine. Basically when we change, when we change era, eras from one era um, to second era to third The era. order here doesn't make sense because you're not taking the, the tiles from the era you should be taking them from. So they've actually changed it. So I guess the designer who's very active on BGG with this is really great. So it's actually in a different order. So if you haven't had this game, you're wondering why we're doing it a different order. We're following the new updated order of the summary of play. So first thing is we're going to reposition construction tokens. Any construction token that is completely surrounded by a building, which means each corner has a, a building on it, will be moved. Neither of ours do presently. It's only the first round. Never doesn't happen in the first round. Um, so they will not move. Uh, we'll advance the round marker to the next base. And because we haven't hit a prosperity spot yet, we're not going to be doing prosperity. Um, move the tiles down one row in the project. So these will go down. And there's always two plus the number of players of that current era. So in this case, we're only going to put two out because there's already two era ones. So these ones will be worth zero. These ones will cost $2 to purchase. Good. Good. So uh, we'll now move into the second round. We've already moved the turn order marker forward. So yes, um, I still... At this point, we're all tied for culture. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna start at the top of the order again. So uh, we're gonna determine the initiative order. Now, as the player who was first player in the first round, I get to choose my initiative order for the next round. And I have these four positions I can choose from. Now, why would I choose a later position? Because it costs me less money. You actually buy your initiative order in this game. And uh, the closer you are to the front of the line, the more it costs you to do so. So if you want to guarantee yourself first place, you would have to come to this first position and pay four times your current, your basically your current position multiplier here times the uh, dollar value that you're going to. So in this case, four times three would be 12. I would pay 12 in, in money and then be able to take the first player position. Now in this case, I'm not so worried about the player order. So I'm actually gonna to choose to save some money and I'm gonna go last even um, in a two-player game we get to occupy the first four positions in the initiative order track so we can use any of these first four positions even though this one says three player uh, it is uh, corrected on bgg by the designer that yes the full first four are available even in a two-player game so um, my cost to move there is my original multiplier four times where I'm going to. So it only cost me eight in order to get there. Yeah, yeah, they should just be up there and then go down there. Now I've guaranteed myself to be in last place. However, my next activation uh, for turn order will be cheaper because my multiplier here is two instead mm -hmm. of four. So I'm gonna spend my eight uh, money to get there. 20 goes to 12 and Tracy is up next. All right, so um, because I can stay in the same spot initiative turn wise since he didn't take it now if he had taken that spot here I would have to move I don't want to have to spend more than I need to next turn and if he wants to take first he's gonna to have to go further than where I am so I'm gonna do three times two oops which is six And just adjusting the sound levels a bit, it seems like the microphone level may not be, uh, maybe a little low. So uh, anyone tuning in can just let me know if that change made any difference to the sound level, hopefully so. And uh, we'll continue going forward, but we may have to speak up a little bit if not. All right, so uh, Tracy, you took your initiative order. So you're first, uh, you will take your building tile first in this phase yes i will all right so what do we have available we have the school 
We do. We now, have the park. I need to plan ahead here with my prosperity tokens. The doctor and the bookseller. And this one may or may not happen. This one may or may not, may not be making one of these. I might be building a lake. So I think I'm going to build a park. It's still early on. It gives me some culture, which is good. It's something I've always been lacking. Now, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no comment. That, that came out wrong. I have a lot of culture. Um, in the game, I tend to often be weak on the culture track. I tend to do well on the public services track and stuff like that. So I took a red. Now, in order for me not to suffer the penalty, I want to place here. Adjacency, it's kind of weird. In this game, there are some uh, tiles that say adjacency is everywhere, including diagonals. When you play a building tile, though, it has to be uh, orthogonally adjacent to not take the penalty. Uh, I think that works out for now. So immediately, that will get me one on the progress track, two on the culture track. Yay, I'm blue. But I do lose two on the public services track. Now, just for those who are watching, I corrected myself uh, earlier when I placed this tile. I should have lost one on the public services mm -hmm. track, which is in this direction. And instead, I put myself forward one. So I just corrected that and put it back. Uh, if anyone was watching and saw that cute move. <laughs> so there we go. All right. So I take my tile, and then that one it has um, an infinity benefit of when I activate the tile. Activate. Hmm. That one is when you upgrade your power plant. That's right. When I upgrade my power plant, you I gain get two to gain culture. two culture. Yeah. So Maybe. power plants uh, will be upgraded when your progress token circles back around to the upgrade power plant space of the progress track. Then you will get the uh, next highest available uh, power plant for the next uh, phase. And they're not symmetrical, like the next level, like level two, level three, they're not symmetrical. There's one that's better than the other. So usually the it, first to get there gets the better it one. It is a race to go around the progress track because you want to be the first to get that because the, the top one is usually better than the one underneath. Mm -hmm. All right, so you've done that. I'd have to choose from the remaining tiles. Now mm -hmm. I could take from this stack, however, that would cost me two money and I'm cheap. So I'm gonna take And you this. don't have a lot. I don't have a no, lot of money. you do, you have less. You I'm good. the purple player. But I'm going to take the school, and again, um, I could choose to play it elsewhere and pay a penalty in prestige points, but I already have a public services uh, building, so I'll place it adjacent to that in the construction area, which means I won't pay any penalty points there. And now, immediately, I gain uh, one on the progress track. And this is how you gain more power plants. When you hit that spot or go past it, you gain the next level power you plant. upgrade your additional power plant. Mm -hmm. um, and I also gain two on the public services track. Nice. So. Now, unfortunately, because the tiles are fairly small and you can't see them, I do highly recommend going to check out the art on this and I'd talk about it in a review, but I absolutely love, love, love the art. It's on cute. It. It's colorful. Uh, it's effective. Uh, it is a little it's, small because of the shape of the size of the tiles. Thematically, it just, something about it just draws me in. So. Yep. Oh, no, it's very nice. All right, so we have done the building phase. Now to the tourism phase. So I have the most culture. Have the most culture, surprisingly, now, which is um, odd to me this early in the game. You will get the neutral player token because uh, oh. neutral player and I are tied, and it loses ties. Now mine doesn't come off, so it, if I want to use it, I have to move it and then place that with it. If I want to use them together, um, I still only have. Oh, I do get the highest culture, which means I get the extra activation. You get the extra activation. It's kind of nice. I'll take it. Um, these yellow cubes also, in case people are wondering, don't actually come off until the end of each era because it I mean this is how you have to pay more to activate the same huh. buildings if you're trying to so activate one building. If you wanted to activate a building you had previously activated in this era, what mm -hmm. would be your cost to activate that building? So in this case, because I have one plus two more, I would need to put four down. I need to put one more than the total amount based on what was played, previously played, and printed. So um, I find that a little expensive. So, however, if I move this off, it'll then be later, it'll be two for the next round. So I can move this one over here. And you still need another token yep, there. I'm gonna which... play this one because there's one cube. So I need to have two cubes. I'm gonna use the two cards as my two cubes because you know, they're in the hotel. Uh, I'm gonna lose a culture to gain $7, which as you can see, I really need. The money. Money is not, I, I think I month made it around 40, 45, but quickly lost it. It's hard to get up to 60. You know, they say money changes everything. <laughs> or at least some musicians said that at some point, I think. So my second activation, I want to try to take advantage of it, 
butterfly let's do I can't act no because it's not really working for me because this gets me a pop uh, both get me employment and I am um, your employment is matching your population so, I can't so have you more. can't increase your employment so further until you increase your population I am not gonna take the extra activation that that gives me all right sadly makes me a little sad you could however choose to activate this again and it would cost you three which would be all of your energy but it also gets me popular um employment these are both employment right which i was lacking last game but now i need population <laughs> which was also lacking last game it was a little bit of a struggle so again i'm going to look and see if i can take my actions now um when i built this tile i forgot to activate this one this one has a construction activation mm -hmm. so what this symbol tells me is that um when I build anything that's a different color in one of the orthogonally or diagonally adjacent spaces next to this building, I get to activate and get this benefit, which is to gain one culture. And because I built this brown building, which is different from the red building, uh, in an adjacent space, I would have gained one culture at that time. So I'm just going to retroactively apply that to my board. I'll try not to do that too much throughout the course of this gameplay. Now the thing the thing about this game is this is where it can get a little overwhelming and why I consider it a medium strategy game is you have to really pay attention to your city because other things will activate the adjacency or if you build something or all that stuff so you really have to pay attention to everything you build. Mm -hmm. Now I haven't activated anything yet during this turn and I'm looking at what I have available. While you're doing that, I'm gonna look at these guys. If I want to activate this one, I would need to spend. Uh, four more resource cubes or tourist tokens. And I don't have that many, I only have two and one tourist token. So I'm not gonna activate this again. Uh, these are construction activation, construction activations, so I, don't, I can't activate them during the activation phase. So really there's nothing for me to do here um, and I'm just gonna pass my turns. Now, if you pass all of your activations, you do have to get the benefit of getting to take either one prestige point um, or you can gain uh, one energy cube to add to your power plant. Now, I could get a, a prestige point for end of game, but the energy cube is gonna be more immediately beneficial to me, and so I'm gonna choose that option and add it to my power plant, as I'll be used, able to use that cube to activate other cards in the future. Mm -hmm. So I'm done my activation phase. All right, so now we move on to administrative phase. Again, we're using the updated version. Um, we are going to first reposition surrounded construction tiles uh, tokens. I do not have a surrounded tile, but you do. I do. So this construction token, the little plus uh, piece of cardboard in the middle, because it is completely surrounded by buildings, this, this is the one part of the game I find a little fiddly and, to be frank, a little bit annoying. I wish there was a better way to do this. I understand why they've implemented it this way, but um, and I'm gonna, you can move it to any other... Um, intersection or even on an outside edge if you wish and I'm gonna put it up here and then start building my city upwards all right so I then move tiles down one row so these ones are not there those ones will now be four dollars they're getting expensive they're getting expensive so because it's because there's still two we're only gonna put two out uh, before we do that we move forward yeah the uh, move the round track right. marker for still remembering the old version versus yeah. the new one, but we're still in arrow one, so it's fine. Now it's after this turn before we go to the next next realm, we're gonna actually have to build a prosperity tile. So mm -hmm. now prosperity tiles <laughs> have conditions on them uh, <coughs> which you have Excuse to me. meet in order to place them out. If you don't meet the conditions mm -hmm. of any of your prosperity tiles, then you must build a lake, uh, which you can do for free. But lakes don't give you um, anywhere near as good of a scoring opportunity. Um, they do earn you some energy cubes, but that's about mm -hmm. it. And they so don't they don't follow the same um, adjacency requirements, which is good. Placement you can rules. Pretty much place it anywhere. Yeah, but you want to avoid placing a lake if you can, because yeah. the the uh, flip side of the tiles, the prosperity tiles, are much more valuable for end game scoring. All right, so we're in round three. At the end of this round, we will have to place one of our prosperity tiles if mm -hmm. we can, or or a lake if we can't. Uh, but for now, we go back to the top of the order and we resolve initiative. Now, Tracy is closest to the uh, left, so she is first player to choose her initiative uh, for this round and pay for her initiative this round. You're probably going to hate me, but I'm going to do it. 
I'm going to go, so it's three times three, right, to go here? Yep. So it's nine. Yep. It's a little low on the money score scale. Now, I believe we can stay where we are, correct? What do you mean? I'm in, I'm in this position. You can. can. I can stay there. Yep, if you so want So it'll to. cost me two times two is four. Yep. So I'm going to save some money for later um, and stay in last position. As far as I, I know, because we yep. did that last time. Yep. Uh, last time, because we for, we didn't realize we could use this spot and we didn't want to pay this much. We were only using, using these two spots, yeah. which Flipping I, I like this because it gives a bit more flexibility. Flexibility. And there's a reason I wanted to be first, and that's because I want this guy. Which tile is that? Uh, it is the Dillon residence. So it's one of the buildings, and there are certain buildings. Some have uh, uh, three red, two yellow, and I think there so are three as well. So they represent low, medium, and high density residential areas. Yeah. So that's a medium density residential mm -hmm. area. And certain tile effects will score based on the density of a residential area. So. So um, this one is immediately, now because it's my first green, again, I don't have to follow Jason's rules. I do have to decide, and really at this point, I don't know what's going to come out and what's there doesn't really affect this. So I'm going to put it here. There's no adjacency issues or anything that I want to do. So it's going to give me two on this, no, sorry, not this board, my apologies, on the progress board. It's going to give me two trees, and I'm going to get two sorry, populations. Two. You're here, so in fact, you're going to get to upgrade your power plant. Really? You're blue on purple. I didn't think I got my four already. Apparently. So one, two. So you'll take the large coal plant and overlay yes. that with your overlay that on top of your small coal plant. And I get to keep my old cubes, energy. Yeah, and you've, I get five more. You've generated that energy; it doesn't go away. Um, you know, conservation of energy—you can't lose energy. Mm -hmm. uh, but you do get five more, so you get five more from the supply, and I'll hand those to you. Yeah. Because now your I new your new large coal plant gives you additional energy. Now it doesn't give you some some of the later um, uh, power plants do give you two or more activations. Um, in this case, it still only gives me one. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you've bought your tile. I'm gonna get mine now, and I'm still thinking I'm gonna be cheap. Although that's a construction activation, when I'd really like to get this guy here. It's four. Four dollars though, so expensive. No, nope. I'm gonna it's go expensive. for the train station. So I'm gonna build a train station. Again, because it is a public services building, I would wanna build it next to other public services building and in the construction zones in order to avoid getting uh, prestige penalties. So I'm gonna do exactly that. Now, I'm gonna place it actually on, just to be different. Place it on this side. There's a lot of, lot of icons in these guys. Too. And immediately I will gain one on the progress track. And I will gain two on the public services track. Which gets me to the end of the public services track. When you go beyond the end, you get a bonus. And in this case, the bonus is to get three more energy cubes from the supply. So mm -hmm. I'm going to add those to my power plant right away. And I'm pinned at the top of the public services track. But every time I move forward from there, I will get three additional energy from my power plant. Yeah. Yes, indeed. My public services are very efficient. All right, so we've both built. No penalties incurred. This is surprisingly the first time I haven't had negative points this far into the game. <laughs> it will be coming. I know it will be. All right, so next is going to be executive phase. So, uh, sorry, uh, tourism phase. Yep. So now we're tied for highest culture. However, is it... On the economic track? Economic track and then initiative track. Okay, so because so. we're tied, we break ties by who has the most money. And if we're tied for the most money, we break ties by who is in first in turn order. So because I have the most money, I will get the um, highest culture token, giving me the extra activation. And I will also get the tourism token of the neutral player who is lowest on the culture track. And however, Tracy will get to activate first because she is first in turn order. Mm -hmm. So I am going to activate. Oh, that's a very good question. A lot of my guys lose my culture. Man, I was hoping to go up in culture, but every single one of them I'm losing. So I'm actually going to pass. So when you pass, because you can pass and not take one of your activations. When you pass, we'll often do this. You, you have to pass all of your activations. Yes, but you if only you get have one 
culture or one energy piece. I'm actually going to take a culture. Sorry, I don't think it, I thought it was uh, a prestige point. It says take oh. one culture or one energy cube or one prestige. Okay, so ah uh, yes, that was one of the typos on this gun. Um, this one says one energy cube. This says one prestige. So, so either a, a victory point. I'll take a victory point. Prestige point. Now victory points or an um, energy cube have to be visible for everyone, but they don't have to be uh, shown. Fa face up. Yeah. They can be face down, but you have to be able to see how many you have. Can't hide them. All right, so that was your one activation. Um, I get two yeah. activations, and I have some energy to play with, so maybe I'll do that this time. Um, to activate this one would cost me three additional tokens, so I can use the tourist token as one. I would have to supplement with two more energy cubes from my power plant, mm -hmm. and that allows me to sacrifice um, a culture in order to gain an employment. And sure. So I had two. this oh. on it, which oh. means I need three more How cubes. Oh, because you moved it. I see. Yeah. Right? So yeah, I put that there and two more mm -hmm. to lose one culture, which I have already lost, to gain one employment, which I've already gained. Uh, I do have a second activation, and if I wanted to activate this guy again, I could lose another culture. And as I'm already at the bottom of the culture track, that would mean I would lose three money to gain seven money. So I'd, I'd basically be losing a culture for a net gain of four money which uh, doesn't seem very useful to me, so I'm just not gonna bother doing that. I'll, I'll leave it as is. So uh, as I'm not activating my second activation, we can move on to the administrative phase. And first thing to do is we look to see if any construction tokens are completely surrounded. Tracy has one that is completely surrounded. I do. And she can choose where to move that, where she's going to develop her next uh, area of the city. I like going this way because it gives me some variety of what I can do. Mm -hmm. After that, what is the next uh, order of operations in the administration? Uh, advance the round track marker to the next phase. Now, so here we get an intermediate. Uh, we basically pause the action to bring you a prosperity tile placement. So that's what this little symbol means. Um, it's a symbol for the prosperity tiles. They all have this little uh, award symbol in purple in the upper corner. So we look through, we each look through the six prosperity tiles that we were dealt at the start of the game. Uh, do we want to finish off the administrative phase? Oh, yes. Yeah, I guess we finished the administrative yeah. phase. First. Which is not, not much, it's really just um, move those down, those come off. So these now slide off they, and are this no might longer. Determine what... And yes, that actually, we got a couple of high density residences here, the cobbler and a fountain. So we know what oh. buildings we're building towards, which is great. There's two here I really want to do, and I'm just debating which one would be better now and which one would be better later. Now, just to give you an example of what these look like, so for instance, for this prosperity tile, I need to have the highest or equal, equal to or greater than uh, any other player, uh, the highest total of industry and residential buildings. So if I have more industry and residential than anyone else combined, I can play that prosperity tile. As I have no yellow industry or green residential tiles, I cannot play that tile this turn. So I'll keep going through the list of my tiles to see if I meet any of these conditions that allow me to place the tile. And if so, I place it in my city just like I do any other tile. So I'm actually, I wanted to play that one. No, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I might be going against my better instincts, but I'm gonna do this because Again, like I said, I tend to suffer a bit from not getting a lot of culture, a high on my cultural track. So I'm going to build a resort. Now, what does the resort? I must have high, um, greater culture. So some are uh, greater, some are equal than, some are less than. So sometimes you have to be less than the other player. Mine is the highest culture. In this case, I actually do only by one, but I've got one. So I'm going to play it here. Is that still on the board? Yes, it is. Good. And it doesn't give me, it does give me an immediate effect. I get one prestige, three or five, depending on which era. We're in era one, so I'm going to get one prestige point. So. And I can actually activate this building. To activate it, um, I have to use two cultures to get three prestige. During the next activation phase. Yes, yes, if I want to activate it. Uh, sorry, this symbol means I believe it's an immediate effect. No, immediate is the exclamation point. You're absolutely right, yeah. The gray lightning bolt means uh, during the next activation event. Okay. I can choose to lose two culture to gain three to prestige. To gain three prestige, which might be useful depending on where you are on the culture track. Mm -hmm. Now, I've gone through all of my uh, prestige tiles, 
and I can't meet any of those conditions oh, at no. all. I had six options and I don't meet any of those criteria. So I can't actually build any of them. However, I do have to then at least place a lake tile. And I'm going to choose which one I want to not you score to future. Me, just so strategically I know what he's doing. So it's the mayor's house. Okay, so it's lose a lot of stuff. So the mayor's house uh, gives you a lot of penalties here where you immediately, when you place the mayor's house, you lose all of these. Uh, you lose money, you lose uh, public service, and you also lose culture. However, it gives you a lot of end game scoring for each of your yeah. prosperity tiles. Four uh, prestige points at the end of the game for each prosperity tile you placed. Now, I don't think I'm going to get there, and as I can't place anything else, I'm going to sacrifice this one, make it a lake. Now, the one thing of note is important is you can always, uh, if you don't have enough money to pay for something, you can keep taking this penalty until you meet the amount of money. So you can only take the penalty as many times as you need to meet the money amount. To pay for whatever it is you're doing. I'm going to have um, to soon. So for, for my <laughs> lake, the only benefit I get from the lake is it does give me two energy. I guess I set up a mini hydroelectric dam or something, and I get to add those two energy cubes to my power plant. And because uh, the lake doesn't require you to observe any placement okay. rules, I can place it anywhere on my board and not suffer any prestige penalties. That's correct. So I'm done now, and we'll move into, um, that was here, so we're moving into the last round of the first era. So after this turn, there will be some, uh, what they call a world expo evaluation. And so we'll, there'll be some intermediate scoring. We'll go over that in a minute. Mm -hmm. So again, uh, back to the top of the order, Tracy has to decide, because she is leftmost on the track, she has to decide what uh, initiative position she wants to occupy. No matter what I do, I don't have enough money. So I'm going to, there's a lot of choices there, so I'm going to do two times three, which is six. Now I only have three, so it's going to be one, two, zero, zero. which then makes you lose a prestige to gain three money. So you would take one negative prestige. And then I will lose. And you'll go back to zero again. So I, I so think. So I will take two. Yeah. Two negative ones in order to. You're now at three again, though, because your, your zero brought you back to there. So basically, these have <laughs> equaled out. But I'm not the negative, which I'm very happy about. Now, I'm forced to now place my cube on a further space or a higher space. Now, um, my multiplier is two. Oh. I can go my multiplier is the last multiplier. Sorry, my apologies. Yeah. Times where I'm going to in money. So I can pay two times two is four to go one, two, three, four first. That seems cheap, but I'll take it. So now I've activated and, um, sorry, I will choose first from the building tiles that are on offer. So what do we have here? We have Da Vinci Estate. All right, sounds interesting. We have a fountain. We have the King George Mansion. And we have a cobbler. Mm -hmm. Now, there's some good population there. That's The good. Da Vinci Estate has a high population value. So does this one too, King George. As does King George. Uh, so four population means I'll have some room to grow um, if I advance my population marker, I'll have some room to grow in the employment track. So I'm going to take the Da Vinci Estate and I'm going to place it somewhere on my board. Now I can place it in a current construction area. Oh, that's going to hurt, so I want to do that. Mm. And so I get a couple of things happening here. First I get to place it here uh, because I don't have any other green tiles, I don't have to worry about color adjacency. But I'm going to place it in the construction zone so not have to take any uh, penalties. However, this activation happens. So on construction of a green building in an adjacent space to my school, I get one population. So my population is going to go up by one for that. In addition, I'm going to gain one on the progress track. I'm going to gain four on the population track. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to lose two on the um, public services track. Sorry, what didn't happen? It's my own fault. I just realized, again, you really have to pay attention to a lot of buildings. Go ahead and take the two extra culture. Do you mind? Fine. Yeah, no, by you. all means, yeah. Um, it would have been when I had passed that, and I don't believe I took that. So that's important to note uh, in this game. Oh, there's, a a lot lot. Of, there's a lot of building uh, dependencies and uh, uh, things that you would want to watch out for. Yeah. Um, so that you've got to really pay attention to the different activation effects of your buildings in your city. That's my one mulligan for the game. There we go. <laughs> All 
All right, so I've uh, fully resolved that. I've gotten that bonus. I've gotten those, and I am done. So Tracy, you will choose from the remaining buildings. All right, so given what I'm trying to do here, given, so I'm going to take that one as much as I hate going that far down on the public services track. I'm going to lose, if I go here, I'm going to lose three. Three money. Money. However, I'm going to gain it. So I think it's worth it for me to do that. So I'm also going to take a green. However, I could play it here, take a penalty, or I can play it over here and take a penalty. I don't want to take one of the two penalties. And uh, because of each each level of penalty is two prestige points uh, negative. So, um, and none of them require adjacency. Sorry, my apologies. I just, yeah, I definitely pop those. Pop those and it's hard to get in the green. However, sorry, I'm actually going to take the blue. Um, Change your mind? Yep. We're going to be, it's okay. So I'm going to take this guy, which basically gets me two on the progress track. Boom. Boom. And one in employment. Now I still have a little bit of wiggle room there in employment. But I'm going to lose one on this track, which means I will lose one money. It's worth it for me to do that. All right. All right. And now we're going to do activation in turn order. Uh, actually, first we're going to see if the tourist tourism. tracks move. So Tracy is ahead in tourism. I am. So she will get the lowest player's uh, tourist marker. This is actually moving back and forth a lot more than it has uh, in the Because game. the neutral player always loses ties, and I'm tied with the neutral player for lowest culture. Yeah. She'll get the neutral player's uh, tourist marker. So in case you're wondering how I could possibly get all of them, because there are cases where you can get every player's it's when you hit these little squares here. So this one, it says, um, basically, if anybody, you take everybody that's in green. So if anyone was in, not in green, you wouldn't get theirs, but you get everybody that's in green. Here it'd be green and orange and so on and so forth. So going up that track is very handy. So I will get that, which means that will happen. So I'll get two activations this turn. I would like to activate first this guy. So I have to put two on. And it's going to get me $7. Very nice. And my second activation, because I am going to activate. Uh, and I also get that if I want during activation phase. Uh, you'd have to spend cubes to, to spend activate cubes it. To activate that one. Um, although, there's no cube cost on it. No, and that's what I was clarifying. I was trying to clarify that because there is no cube. It just says, uh, sorry, which one is that? That's resort. It says activate. So the good news is the manual does have a pretty exhaustive yes. card reference at the back of the manual. So um, activate. Lose two culture to gain three prestige. As there's no printed energy, the cost for the first activation is just one, one cube. So Fair I want to do that. Okay. Which might be handy. So try, I think try not to I'm going to do it. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I'm going to do that. I'm going to just place the the, the uh, tourism, the neutral marker, tourism marker, because mm -hmm. um, I don't need any other cubes. And that is going to lose me two culture to gain three prestige. Maybe offset some of those negative mm -hmm. points you got. Yes. I didn't get any negative points yet. Hmm. I haven't gotten any points yet. <laughs> Period. Negative or otherwise. All right, so you've done your activations? Yes. So now it's my turn, and I can activate um, if I choose to do so. Now I have a number of construction activations, which I can't do anything with in this phase. Um, I have this activation, which would get me two culture, which might not be a bad idea. I could activate this to lose a culture and gain one on the employment track, which is also not a bad idea as we're coming up to the end of era and we're gonna gain some negative points here at the end of the era. Mm. And I could get less negative points if I move up on that track. So I think that is a pretty good idea. First, let's do that. I'm going to take two energy from my power plant and I'm gonna activate the Da Vinci Estate which allows me to immediately gain two culture. One, two. Suddenly I'm at the top of the culture track again. As you see, we're seesawing back and forth. Usually you're way ahead of me on this one. Um, now, if I want to activate this one again, I would lose a culture to gain one uh, employment. It would cost me, however, uh, four resource cubes. Sorry, it would cost me five resource five. cubes. Five, one on the printed plus three. And I only have four left, so I can't actually activate that one. I could activate this one to lose a culture to gain seven money. It would cost me four energy. However, mm. 
that would be all of my energy reserves and I don't get more energy until I get to upgrade my power plant. So uh, although I will get to move forward on the progress track based on my position in public services, so maybe it makes sense to spend those now in order to get some money, which is useful. In fact, I'm gonna do that. And lose one culture to gain seven money. So from four, I go to 11. Now, to be fair, you're very close to getting your next power plant. So. Which, which I will at the end of the era because of my position on the public yeah. services track. So it's not a bad idea to spend some. So we have now finished era one. There's some icons here on the, tr on the turn track to tell us what we activate. And Tracy has the reference in front of her. So what is this phase called? So this phase uh, is the World Expo Evaluation. So at the end of each era, there's a World Expo, and we evaluate the conditions Mind we you, have. we do all the uh, rounds and yeah. the round stuff first. So let's do administrators. So reproof position construction tokens. I have none that need positioning. I do. One of mine is complete and surrounded. Okay. And I think I'm going to put it up here. I'm not sure it's coming out, but we'll see if there's a listening. Hopefully do a good thing. Can you always reposition a construction token or only if it's completely surrounded? Only if it's completely surrounded. If oh, it's three or two of the sides are surrounded, you cannot move it. It has to be completely surrounded. Okay. So you got to plan accordingly. Okay. Uh, then we advance the round marker to the next phase. In this case, we're going to hold off. Mm -hmm. um, although, let's advance. We, we, what's going to happen is, and this is where I find it really tricky. Um, this is something that they changed with the new one, but... Um, it doesn't take into account the World Expo evaluation, but you have to remember. So we're advanced to this space, which allows us to now bring out era two tiles, yes. building tiles. Now, normally it's two plus the number of players, but that's of the current era. So even though there are two there, we bring out four era twos. From because the new era. The, these ones don't count towards the limit. The limit or the amount that we're supposed to have out. Yep. Ooh, a lot of green, a lot of population this game. We're struggling last game for it. Anything else in the administrative phase? Excuse me. No, nope, that's everything. So okay, so now we do the World World Expo evaluation. Mm -hmm. So first employment. You will gain or lose prestige according to the level of the employment track. So as you can see, there's a lot of lows. So Steph's going to lose 10 and I'm going to lose 9. Ouch, 10 points in the hole. Yeah, you want to get up on that employment I've, track quickly. I've avoided, carefully avoided losing points so far <laughs> this game and now I'm 10 in the hole. And now you uh, go unemployment. So subtract the population from the employment. Negative numbers are taken as prestige loss, but never you never lose more than three. So if there was ever a big gap, you wouldn't lose more than three. So you want to avoid having a wide gap between your population and your employment tokens, like I have here. Uh, so lose three. at most I lose three additional. Yeah. So now I'm 13 points in the hole. I'm only one because there's only one difference between the two. So that's not so bad. All right, and then next. Next, we go to public services. So now we have to look at our public service track. So first thing is we're going to gain or lose whatever it says. In this case, I'm going to lose a dollar. And I'm going to gain two on the progress track, which immediately allows me to upgrade my power plant to a large coal plant, getting me four more energy. Now, another tricky thing about this game is every person that you are behind on the public services track, you will actually lose two prestige. So in a multiple player game, the person who's at the last, like if this is a five player game, you'll actually lose quite a bit for being last. So this track is where there's more players. You're really gonna wanna be as high See as you possibly can. a lot of penalties. Can. So because I'm ahead, I'm not gonna lose any prestige, but Tracy in this case two, is gonna so lose two. I'm gonna flip that, flip one of those. So as you can see, the negatives start to add up, but honestly, by the end of the game, I've always been the positives. Not very high in the positives, but high, but in the positives. Okay. And uh, also at the end of the era. Remove any cubes um, from building tiles. Now, the tricky thing is the tourist markers are not removed. They stay there and these go to general supply. So if you don't mind putting those in your yeah. general supply. Here. So all the cubes that we had spent so go back to the, the general The tourist supply. markers stay where they are, but all the other cubes get removed to the common pool. And that is the end of the World Expo evaluation. So we move on to round five, which is the first round in the second era. Now, after this round, we're gonna have another prosperity. So we're gonna be able to build another one of these guys. So Maybe be able to build. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe I won't. Maybe, maybe I still won't be able to build not. anything. So I find, uh, I think what happened too is in the rule book is this was uh, reversed because yeah, th these arrows are supposed to say it's times this. So you're supposed to kind of like do this. Yeah, you're, you're doing the multiplication of your previous yeah. placement times the number of money where you're going to. In the rule book, they talk about moving your tokens up here and then going down. That's fine. 
So that makes it more confusing. So you get to... So being first in turn order, I'll get to choose where I'm going first. And I'm going to choose... Three times two or three times two? I'm going to choose three times two and... Be last? Be go, la go yeah. last. Although, because you can go two times three to jump ahead of me. So... Yeah, that's true. Either way, I'm spending six. You could spend six to go ahead or you could spend four, four to go ahead. Four to go ahead. I'm going to spend four, so... You know what? I'm going to make it more expensive for you. I'm going to go Thanks. there. Thanks. So that's six for you. So it cost me six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I am going to want to, to do that. So I'm going to go here. So it's going to be two times three is six to go first. So there's a couple buildings there that I want. Now this means necessarily your next placement for initiative is going to cost you more because it's times mm -hmm. four. I so know. there's reasons why you might not want to go high up on that track because uh, it's going to cost you more in a future turn. However, I'm going to take this guy. So this is Windsor Cottages. So immediately I will get three on the progress track, which will be great because I'll get to upgrade my power plants. Give me three. I'll do that after. Uh, I get to move up two on the population and one on the public services track, which I'm very so happy about. Because you ended here, you can upgrade your power plant. Here's the uh, hydroelectric plant. Right. Now it will give me another six cubes, so I'm rolling the cubes. I still only have one activation though. The next power plant, I believe, gives two. So I have lots of those. Now I like this one because when I activate it, I lose a population to gain $12. Wow. Which I'm going to need very soon in order to pay for my initiative. Potentially <laughs> next very round. strong. <sighs> potentially very strong. Okay, so uh, are you active? Uh, sorry. No, you I'm have just, any construction uh, activations? No? Uh, no, no construction activations. So I'm going to take the Wald Mart. <laughs> Called the Wald Mart. The Wald Mart. <laughs> which is going to get me two on the progress track, two on the employment track, but lose two on the public services track. Mm -hmm. uh, because I don't have any uh, commercial buildings in place already, I can place it anywhere. Uh, for color adjacency, I don't have to worry about that, but I'll place it in the construction area. Um, and then I will immediately get two on this track. I will get two on the employment track, closing that gap, which is ever important, and then lose two on the public services track. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, the biggest thing of this game is the balancing between the different tracks, trying to keep yourself fairly even on them so you're gaining versus losing, or at least losing less than you're gaining. Now I'm checking to see if I have any construction activations that'll activate for placing that blue one, and I do not, so um, it's a green. It's, oh, it's, it's only green. for green. It's hard to see yeah. from this angle. Yeah. So no no extra bonuses for that. However, any building that I build adjacent to my Walmart will earn me six money because everyone will go to the Walmart to get their stuffs. <laughs> very nice. I also do find thematically it's uh, it's very appropriate. The, the, what it gives you, like the city hall gives you employment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um the cobbler gains money for obviously doing his job and he benefits from people near him so he will benefit from activating areas around him so it's very it's very thematic i find very um consistent so we both built now we resolve the tourism so we are still tied you however are highest on this track so again it's going to seesaw this is i think the most it's ever you saw it now again you don't get mine you only get the neutral player I'll get the neutral player color so i'll have that as a Makes token me very to activate happy about this turn. um however you get to activate first i do so i actually want to activate uh, my windsor cottage because i lose a population which isn't too bad but i gain 12 dollars really nice Three. Strong move. Yes. Now I have two activations. Again, my power plant gives me one, and the highest culture token gives me a second activation. Mm -hmm. I've only got limited number of tokens to do this with, though, but I don't have any tokens out, so I should be able to take a couple of different activations oh, here. Sorry, and I just hit the cult. I hit that. Uh, 
Oh. Yeah, go it, ahead. No. No, because I would have had me higher. No. It's my own fault for just forgetting. This is where you really have to pay attention to the game. I forgot because it would have actually affected things, so. No, it's my own fault for forgetting. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. Um, pay attention, Tracy. Pay attention. <laughs> I'm so usually, many things. I'm usually willing to let those things slide, but uh, this she, one actually affects sure. this. So it affects it, who gets the act, extra activation. You so need to, I need to pay attention. To I'm that. going to uh, take two cubes to activate this and get two more culture, moving further ahead on the culture track. And then I'm going to activate this one here to lose one culture and gain seven money. I'm gonna lose a culture and gain seven money. It's not the twelve money that you lo you gained, but still useful. Still pretty good. Still, still pretty good. Still pretty good. And those are my two activations. So I'm hmm. done. So now we're gonna move on to a repositioning of construction tokens. Neither of mine are surrounded. I have this one which is surrounded, so I gotta move it somewhere else. Again, I wish there was a better way to do this. I get why they're using these construction tokens, it's, but it kind of disrupts your, your city a bit and moves stuff fine. around. It's fine for people like me who have fingers that can reach and they're pretty good. It's not that it's not that bad. And plus it's not it's just just doesn't make it look fancy. But I don't mind. You know what? I'm gonna move this over here. Oh. There we go. Okay. So now we advance around mark to the next phase. Now I like to stop it here to know that first we're going to do that after everything else is yep. done. So now we're going to uh, move the tiles down. So those move down. They don't get discarded yet. These become more expensive. And we get I'm two more era two tiles. Okay. And these can also go up again. Whew. Some Public services. Public service, police station and a school. Okay. All right, so then uh, add new tiles, which we've done. Now we're going to do Another this prosperity guy. phase. And this guy is very handy for me. So you'll actually, no, oh, I get to do mine first. So they follow um, adjacency placement as well. So it, unlike stuff we played the lake earlier, it didn't have to, this does, so I have to play it here if I don't want to suffer any penalties at all. I could put it here and only suffer one of the two penalties of not being next to a purple, but it's next to a construction token. However, I have room, I'm gonna put it here. And what this one uh, uh, basically means is I must have more specifically uh, low and medium density uh, houses. Which you do. Which I do. So the green and the yellow um, icon one specifically, yep. you have red. A high density house. So that's fine. Yep. It's going to immediately give me three prestige points because we're in era two. Mm -hmm. And then anytime I um, activate an adjacent uh, tile, I will get $6. Very nice. Because shopping centers like when people are in the area. Okay, so I do have one that I can build this time, which is nice. Um, it's going to be the Three Penance Amusement Park. So the Three Penance Amusement Park requires Sorry. me to have <laughs> six flags. Yeah. Three penance. <laughs> I right? just got it. Yeah. So uh, the Three Penance Amusement Park requires me to have strictly more population than anyone else, which we can see I'm higher on the population track. So I can place this. And I'm going to choose to place this. I'm going to place it up here because although it's going to cost me two prestige points to place that. It's not affecting that construction token. So I'll take minus two prestige points, please. Um, it will give me this construction adjacency uh, activation. Nice. So I get six money. Very nice. Six. And then immediately I get for every two uh, population that I have, and I have nine, so I will get one prestige point for every two. So wow. with nine rounded down, I would get four prestige points. That's very nice. And two culture. Wow. So this is one of those games that I've found. It takes a few, a few playthroughs to really understand how the buildings work together the synergies and the, the yeah. very first time we played this game we were just barely in the positives so i'm starting to see with more plays it's starting to become easier to it's still it's still random what comes out but mm -hmm. you can you can make it work so 
Uh, With that, we're done the prosperity phase, and we move into round So this six. is something I would like to clarify, actually, on board game So when you have this happen, uh -huh. because it specifically says the prosperity happens at the end of rounds three, five, seven, and nine, yeah. um, it has to follow building rules, but do I get to move that? Because so now I only have one slot. So I think I think you would get to move that construction I token. I think so. Because uh, but we can we can it, clarify that very, on BGG. It, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna move. It would be good to clarify on BGG because otherwise it means I only have literally one spot, and that's very restricted, very restricted. So I'm actually gonna play this over here, based on what's I know has come out, because you're placing these based on what you're seeing, which is why they, um, or kind of what what's kind of there. Okay. And uh, we're at the start of round six, so turn order, and you choose first. This is going to be pricey. It's going to cost me four times whatever I want to do, so I'm obviously going to go as cheap as possible, so it's four times two. Although you could, occupy, you could occupy this space for the same amount. I could, but I Which am would not... force me, if I want to go first, to s spend something more expensive. Mm -hmm. No, I'm good with this because I want to see what you do first. Because it might affect what I decide to sure. buy and get. However, I'm going to spend three times two to still go first. So six. Five, six. Because why waste money? I'm good with that. All right. So going first, I will choose my building tile first. What do we have here? We have a police station, a school, a delight, delight consulting. All right, so some kind of happiness agency, consulting agency. Uh, Coal Harbor, which is a residential area. We have a fountain and the King George Mansion. So what do I want most? What I want are some activations where I can activate and get things happening. Mm -hmm. So I think in this case, I'm gonna take the Delight Consulting, which I can place over here in this area because it's adjacent to blue and adjacent to a construction tile, so I won't take any prestige penalties. Mm -hmm. um, I will immediately gain three, one, two, three, on the progress track, which allows me to upgrade my power plant. Yeah. Which will get me five more energy cubes from the supply. I also gain one on the employment track. Nice. Yeah, trying to get out of those negatives. Closing that gap and, yeah, trying to get out of this negative spaces here. Hard. You get positive points if you get past 10 on the employment track, but you also have to get your population past Up that here, level too. as well. So yeah. it's a, a balancing act of trying to get those going. Mm -hmm. uh, no other immediate effects. Let me just look and see if anything else... Uh, here we have a construction bonus. When I built adjacent to that, I get six money. So I really like mm -hmm. that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, anything else give me adjacency bonuses? This one is only if I build reds, which this is blue, so that doesn't count. Nothing else matters. So there we go. Nothing else matters. In fact, so nothing else matters. So both the police station and uh, school are good because police station is if you build adjacent to it, you gain a cube. But I like this one better because if I activate a green building specifically uh, that's adjacent, I gain a culture, which if I put it here, because I can, because it's adjacent and it's the so correct So then if in the future, if you activate this building, you would uh, gain a culture. So I will go up one on the public services track and two twos on the, uh, uh, sorry. Two on public services and which one I did. on the progress um, track. Yes, I was here, right? Yes. So yeah, we're good. Did you go up too? I did. Okay. I thought we were tied here. Okay, yeah, I, I, I reversed those. Okay. Just left them. All right. I don't actually reverse, but. I am, I am uh, first player, so I will yeah. get to, uh, we resolve tourism first. So let's see who gets tourism. Well, I have more culture than anyone else. Just a little bit. Green is going to come to me. I already have it over here, so I'll just keep it there. Yep. Um, and then... Which is both a good and a bad thing. It means it can't. he has to move it in order to activate it, but... 
So what I really want to do is get my culture up to this space or higher, at which point I can actually get Tracy's tourism marker as well mm -hmm. uh, if she's still in the green range for culture. Okay, so for my activations, let's see, I have some energy here to spend. I'm going to activate, I'm going to use both tourism markers because I can move those. I'm going to use those to activate the Delight Consulting, which will get me four money. Having lots of money is very useful in this game. Yeah. Um, now I do have a second activation for the highest culture marker, mm -hmm. so I could activate something else again. And I think I want to close that population and employment gap even further. So I'm going to take two energy to lose one culture and advance one on the employment track. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. So I only have one activation. I can move my tourism marker if I want to take a different spot, which I think I do. I think I want to go here. Okay. So you need to spend mm, one energy no, to activate sorry, that. Was, I don't actually want to go somewhere here. else. Yeah, because I can't lose two culture. You could. It would cost you six money, though. Or, sorry, it would cost you. Yes, six yeah. money. This doesn't lose me culture. It's just for every one that I have. Sorry, it would only it would only cost you three money. Yeah, but I need the money for initiative, and I don't think I'm gonna gain it. So, it's fine. This doesn't allow me to lose it. This is for every one that I have. I go up on the population. Nope. That um, you yeah. you lose a you lose a culture. No. Oh, different symbols. Look at yeah. that. Yes. Which I think I may have accidentally the last time I activated it's gone down. You don't have to go down. This is just it's me. Interesting that it's red though. Yeah, which I kind of maybe it's another. There's unfortunately a few a few cyclers in this game. No, because uh, this one is is quite clearly lose a culture to gain seven money, and it's the same. So you would lose a culture to gain one employment. Yeah, it's kind of weird. But you're right. There's no negative number there, which might be an oversight in the printing. So because it's the same here. Yeah, we've we've been playing it that you lose one culture in order to gain the benefit. So. Uh, you go up on, on the employment track. Um, exactly. Right? That'd be a good clarification. It's unfortunate because this is a really good game, but there's there's a few 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 issues with the, the iconography and stuff uh, in regards. To, I think just typos, just design typos. It could very well be just uh, an oversight. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, um, are you done your activations? Yes. Mm -hmm. So we move right along into the administrative phase. So the first thing we do in the administrator phase, we look to see if any of our construction tokens are completely surrounded. Sorry, I'm just looking here. Yep. Yeah, unfortunately, that's because this specifically says lose two, and there's not. Mm -hmm. So this is a minus two. This is not. It's just kind of weird. That's okay. I'm gonna move this one up here. I do not move either of mine, sadly. Because they're both not completely surrounded. Um, and then next is. Uh, advance the round marker so we move into the next round and after this round we're gonna have to build another prosperity tile these two tiles come away those go down and down go back to the box and because these are both era two only two more come out magnificent arch and uh, garden gnome manufacturing i love it love the garden gnome it's the arche de triomphe known as the magnificent, magnificent arch, arch. And the garden gnomes. Garden gnome manufacturing. Yep, love nice. it. Okay, um, so now we go, we're in round seven. Uh, we're moving into round seven. So we do initiative again. So you actually go first. I do go first. So, you know what? I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling like I want to make it a little more expensive so That's i'm going to cost three times three is nine i have a bit of money to spend so i'm going to go down to 13. and because and there's no benefit for me going here and this will force me it's to, cheaper yeah, yeah it's cheaper it only costs you four. Little four because why spend more money than you have to that's right all right, so uh, being first, I will choose my building tile first. So the Magnificent Arch or the Garden No Manufacturing are both free for the taking. If I want the police station, it will cost me two money. If I want Coal Harbor, it will cost me got lots of money. four money. Now, I do have a fair bit of money, but I'm cheap. And that population is pretty nice. The population is nice, but I'm still trying to get my 
employment marker up to. But you're almost high now, so. Well, it's close. It is close. What to do? What to do? And then when actually when you activate, you gain a population. That's pretty nice. It is pretty nice. I have to say. And I think, yep, that's going to be worth four coin to me. So I'm going to spend yeah, four money. You didn't. I was going to take the penalty to do it. And I can place it next to the green one that I already have in place and not suffer any placement penalties. I'll immediately gain two on the progress track. I will gain two on the population track. And I will lose one on the public services track. Now, do I get any placement bonuses? Was that an optimal place to put that? I might have wanted to put that somewhere else. No, I will leave that right where it was. Um, I do get a bonus <coughs> six money for having built something next to my walled mart. So well, there you go. One, what two, was it worth three, it four, five, six. I am taking the garden no manufacturing. For nothing. For nothing. But it's got some ben some negative so I'm going to put it here uh, because it's yellow, it's adjacent, and it's next to construction business, so no penalties. I go up two on the progress track. I'm going to lose one on the public services, and I'm going to gain an employment. Now i got to get my population up in order to, to be able forward. to move forward, but mm -hmm. I'm getting there. The nice thing about that one is if I activate it, if I lose... To uh, six money when I activate it, I can gain two employment. So as long as I can get my population up, I'll be good. All right. So uh, again, we look at tourism. I'm still ahead in culture. So I will get the um, neutral players tourism marker. Mm -hmm. And then we go forward into the executive phase where we take our activations. I'm going to use these two markers to move them here. I need two more in order to activate that again, which will make me lose one culture to increase one in the workforce. Mm -hmm. So I'll lose a culture to do that. Um, I'm then going to use these two cubes to activate this one, increasing my population. Okay, so planning ahead. A step further. All right. So I only have one activation still because my hydroelectric plant only gets me one. But I am going to move my tourist marker to offset things. I have to put two because there's already one there. And I will gain $7. You didn't have any cubes on there already? I did not have any cubes on okay. there. I have a cube there. Yeah. All right. Uh, so that's done. And now we go back to the administrative phase. So the first thing we do is check to see if any... Construction I tokens do, are surrounded. I do, I do. I also do. So I'm going to move that I'm over here. Figure out where I want to put stuff though. And. Building a very regular looking city here. Yeah, mine was pretty. Sorry, this is actually very. I was going to decide what I want to do with this. I put it there though. No, I'm going to. Stay here. Sorry. There we go. All right. So uh, then I move the mar round marker. So we're going to put out one of these. We'll, we'll do that we'll first. We'll do it first. Yeah. So you get to go first. Do I have any that I can qualify for? So specifically, I need to have less public services. That doesn't work because I'm not less. I'm tied. I have to have more yellow and green, which doesn't work because you have more yellow. I have to have for me. more employment, which I could do because I do have more employment. So the International Bank, um, which I can place out, is that the best option for me? What else do we have? I could do this one instead, which immediately gains me two more of those. You know what? I'm going to put out the theater instead. I'm going to place the theater um, next to the three pennants, and the theater gets me immediately to population and uh, gives me end game scoring based on my culture rating. So I'm going to do that. So 
So your turn. See if you can place a prosperity tile. I can. So the one that I'm going to be placing is the movie studio. I have to have more yellow and red combined. Which so, you do. Which I do. I have four here too. Yeah. So I'm going to put the movie studio out and I can put it here, which makes it adjacent to the purple. So you immediately gain one prestige point per industry tile you have. So the yellow, yellow tiles. Guy. So you get two prestige points because you have two yellow tiles. There we go. And, and you'll get end, end game. End game, I will get two prestige points for every. Uh, I forget the names of the different ones. Uh, uh, these are uh, tourist. Tourist. They're tourist, tourist ones. Spaces, and again, the because again, we're not quite sure when. In regards to the add on, they don't talk about the add on. Which again, I surrender this, so I'm going to move it if that's okay. Yeah, I'm good with that. You know what? Kind if it's tricky. not an official rule, we'll make it a house rule. Because it's not. It's tricky. They talk because because the uh, prosperity is an add on. They don't put it in the base administrative phase but they don't really clarify other than end of the round they don't clarify when at the end of the round it happens so we're doing that because otherwise it'd be very restrictive which might be a um, uh, strategic intentional a st strategic intention yeah um yeah so we need to put out new tiles we do so that goes down and this goes down and we're still in era two for this last round of this era then we'll be in era three yeah. So we have the Os Osler General. I'm trying to remember what uh, what play on words that is. And generally electrical. Generally electrical. All right. <laughs> uh, I, I do love the tongue in cheek. That reminds me a lot of the networks with that tongue in cheek play on the words. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, um, and so we go back to the turn order, and as I'm first player, I get to choose turn order first. So if I want to take last, it's going to cost me four times two is eight money. Mm -hmm. You've got it. So I might as well get at least second last, which would force you to pay more if you want to if go first. If I wanted to go first. first. You're not very So that's nice. going to be four times two. It's still going to cost me eight money. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. However, if you want to jump ahead of me, you would have to pay a bit more money yeah they're both nice some of the other ones are good too so I don't really want to pay that much money so I'm gonna pay four all right Obviously. no I'm purple sorry I was in seven I usually play purple I decided to mix it up and now I'm confusing myself yes <laughs> Stick to your player color. Did you have a player <laughs> color you normally play? Keep playing that player color. Oh, uh, yeah. Why you generate confusion. All right. So you are still first, first player. player. All right. So I get to choose first. And what do I want? Do I want generally electric? Ooh, that's maybe good because that's lots of employment. Two employment is good. Um, I would lose one on that track. Might be to my advantage. Or Osler General, which is when you build a serv a public services building around that, you gain one on the public service track, strangely enough. Mm -hmm. No, I'm going to go for generally electrical. Now, and I'm going to take Osler. I was debating about taking a police station, but it's $4. I'm so. going to place it over here, which is adjacent for color, but it's not with my construction token. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take two, uh, negative two points, um, prestige points, please. And I'll give you back a negative three and take a negative five. That works. Because when I place a commercial building adjacent to this one, when I build a commercial building, mm -hmm. I get eight money. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I took Osler General, the other play on words, but I can't remember what it's a. Uh, oh, it's a general. Maybe it's a play on a soap opera because it's a hospital. Ah. Osler General. Uh -huh. Maybe we'll see. I can't. I can't think of it. But um, so this one uh, is one up on the public services track, and also one up on the progress track, please. And if I uh, build a um, gray tile, brown tile, mm. brown tile, so public services, public services, uh, I will public, public buildings gain a public service, obviously. Strangely enough, on the track. All right, 
Um, so now we go into tourism. So who has the most culture? Still you still do. Me. Yep, it's not Seaside anymore. Um, and so I still get the uh, neutral players token. And then we go into activation. As I'm first player, I will activate first. So I still have two activations based on my power plant and the highest culture. But look what I don't have. I am out of energy cubes. Oh, my. Well, you'll be getting some... At the end of the era. No, you don't get any at the end of the era. You no. get them when you... Yeah. You want to advance on that plant. track. However, um, what... I can do is pass my activations to gain an energy cube or a prestige point, and I can take an energy cube. Now right you now. could use the. Uh, did you use the? Uh... I could use these to take an activation, absolutely. Um, and what makes the most sense? But then the cube. So. Oh, I didn't actually uh, adjust these. So when I moved yeah, up, so you should adjust. I those. did adjust that one, uh, but I didn't go up on here, and I didn't go up here, which would be very useful. All right. So I'm actually not going to get that energy yeah, cube because I'm not those are activations, yeah. which is kind of um, strong, but like quite a penalty to do. But if you don't have it, you don't have it. You don't have it. So I'm going to put them both here to get four money from my delight consulting. One, two, three. Um, and because I activated yeah. a building adjacent to generally electrical, I get another six money. So mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's a lot of stuff I lose that I just don't have at the moment. And if I do that, I'm also going to lose employment. So I don't want to do that. Um, sorry. That's it. I think I'm going to do this one again. So because there are, there's one printed and two, I would have to spend four in order to activate this one, which I'm going to do to get seven dollars. So all they're doing is lose culture. I need to get my culture up in order to be able to lose it. <laughs> okay. Um... So that's uh, activation, the executive phase. So now I, on. I right. have none of the uh, construction tokens that are uh, need to be moved. You do. I do. So I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna be move over here really close, but you can always fine. adjust if you need to. That's fine. Uh, and then we next step. Then we uh, advance our marker. marker. So we'll go into the next round. Yeah, and then we're going to do all the World Expo stuff. Which so we'll do let's that. do all this stuff first. Yeah. Moves tiles down one row, so that one comes off. We're going to bring out four Era 3 tiles, again, because that's an Era 2 tile. So it doesn't count towards the limit. Oh, sorry. Well, that's nice. Belt and Howl. Yeah, Belt and Howl Labs. Technotech Pink. Nature Trail, which we love, and the airport. So this actually gains me prestige, these Nature Trails. Nice. I'm starting to get low on the population again, which is kind of what I need. But that is all right. So, then... We need to resolve the end of era. Of we do. The, the world... Uh... So, first what's going to happen is unemployment. Uh, I am in the negative, so I will lose five. In negative five, take a negative five. I'm actually in the positives, so I actually gain three. You do. Now, in this case, I, uh, now we usually do it in initiative order, so sure. we could do yours first. Um, your employment is lower than your population. So I'm going to gain negative three. Yep. And I'm even, so I don't lose anything there, which is kind of good. Mm -hmm. Okay. And next is... Public services track. So in this case, I gain a cube. And no, I you gain a cube, sorry. You gain a cube. I gain a cube, an energy cube. And I gain one on the progress track. And all right. Lastly, clean up, remove all energy cubes from Which the Which go back to the Sawai. Oop. Oh. Sorry. Ah, my ruining, winter cottage. Ruining your city. Ah. 
Earthquake. Big giant hand comes down from the sky and moves buildings around. It's like Godzilla, but not. Okay. So now we move on, and at the end of this turn, we'll be we're placing going another to be placing prosperity, another tile. prosperity tile, which I probably should look at. Now you do get dealt six prosperity tiles at the start of the game. However, you only have five opportunities to place. So necessarily, one of your prosperity tiles you won't get to play. So that's a decision you'll have to make as the game progresses. All right. So we do initiative order again. We do. And I'm going to choose to stay right where I am. And it'll cost me six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is going to make it expensive for me. If you want to go ahead of me, yes, I will. Yeah. Ooh, there's some good ones there. So unfortunately, I'm going to spend two times three is six. So you're going to go first. I am. Go ahead and select your building tile. Shockingly, I would like this one. So I'm going to put it down here next to red. Nature trails. And that's going to give me three on the progress around that. Now this time I'm not going to forget this guy. One, two, three. You will get the new to one. upgrade your power plant. What power plant are you looking I've at? I've got now? hydroelectric. So you move to oil. Is that the highest oil? Yep. Good. So that gets me seven plus four prestige and two activations. Can I get seven keys, please? Never. And I'm not going to forget this time. So I'm going to get two prestige for that. I'm going to do this in order because you got to kind of pull, look at your whole board. And then I lose two on this track, but this one here, when I go up to the power plant, I gain two pleasure, which I forgot to do last turn. I'm not going to forget this turn. All right. I have a plan. And I just want to make sure that it, yes, that is it. Okay. All right. So my plan is I'm going to spend four to get that one. Ouch. So this one initially costs me 12 money but i get nine culture out of it which is going to get you where you want to go in addition i get three um, moves up on the progress track which allow me to upgrade my power plant and get more energy cubes but i lose one on the public services track and i can place this one with a magnificent arch over here adjacent to these other red tiles so i don't lose any points for that and it's also in my construction arc so i don't lose any points for that it also triggers a number of things. So first things first, uh, I'm gonna go up three on this track, which allows me to upgrade my power plant and get me six new cubes. Can I get four prestige points, please? Four prestige. There you go. So that was um, that. I lose one on the public services track as I come down there. I lose 12 on the money track. So from 15, I go to three. However, I gain nine culture. That's very nice, very nice. So from two, Good move. I get to 11. Which means now he basically, when he's past that, I will get all anything in green. Anything in green, which is both, both of them. tourism markers. And Again. I have three activations. So this is something we forget. We for every time we play this game with two players, we, we forgot, forgot to, to move do. forward these guys. So in fact, the <laughs> neutral players' tr um, culture marker moves oh. forward one every round. Every and time. And so we as we're in round nine, green is now here. And so is safely outside of the range where I would get green's marker. Yes. Now, in theory, that means no one would have gotten his for marker. the last couple but of turns. Again, this seems to be something that is would have been good to re like. I don't know. It's it's something that every time we play this, and the only time we play this game is with two players. Every time we play this game, it's been a few times now. We've always forgotten to do that. So it seems to be one of those weird things that's just hard to remember. I don't know why. So my apologies. Every time we play this, we've forgotten. Necessarily, um, there would have been some, some extra actions. Usually me would not have been able to take. In some cases, it might have been Tracy. Yeah. 
Um, so I oops, we'll remember it for the rest of the game. I, mean, I think I had to write a little sticky note when we played yeah. the two player. The, oh, like I said, here. And it, it really only it really c only comes into play in a two player game. Yeah. So if you're playing multiple players, it doesn't really affect things. It wouldn't really affect anything. Yeah. Um, so here we are again. So weird. Um, and let me just see if I resolve anything else. So I placed this red guy. Which means because I'm adjacent, I built a red uh, building, a tourism building adjacent to my train station, I gain another culture, actually. So I move even further down the culture track. Um, and that's it. Sorry, I'm just a little confused as to what this means. I just want to quickly see. Your, um... Your prosperity tile. That's not bad. Might be the only one I can play though, because which means I'm gonna have to be forced to do that if I want to get that. Which, eh, what do you have? You have that. I have you. No, it's actually good. I don't have to take that building. I should, I should still be able to do this. So uh, we just built. We should activate. I, have, I haven't built yet. Oh, oh you haven't built yet. No, I did build. Sorry. You built before the nature me. trail. It's just it's been a while. <laughs> it might be a nature trail to hell, as per the Weird Al Yankovic song. Yes. Okay, um, so now we do our activations, and again, your, uh, sorry, Resolve Tourism. So as I'm furthest ahead, I would get your tourism marker. Yeah, and because he's in but orange, But not technically. the green tourism That's marker. Right. So, and you wouldn't get the green tourism marker, so you're left without right. a tourism marker. But I do space. have two activations because of my power plant. So and as your, as your first player, you get to activate first. I do. So... I am going to lose a culture. I'm going to put two here. I'm going to lose a culture. Gain $7, but I also gain $2 for that. So a total of nine. Seven, eight, nine. And I think I'm going to do a second activation. Watch the taps. Sorry. Apparently they're coming to you on the mic. My apologies. That's okay. Um... I'm losing a lot of culture with everyone. So I will just do this guy here, which will get me more money. This is seven dollars, which isn't bad. So I'm at sixteen and seven is twenty three. Can you give me a twenty three please? I'm I can. I'm too short. Can't reach. The cobbler is being very handy. I have all this culture and I don't know what to do with it. Oh, I would oh. say after that for you, but all of my all of my buildings, not all of them, but a fair number of my buildings require me to lose culture to do so. So, so I'm going to move um, my tourism token and apply the blue tourism token, Tracy's, to my city hall, which allows me to lose a culture to gain one employment. So I'll lose a culture and gain one employment. Nice. And then I have two more activations. of activate generally electrical to gain nine money and when I activate a blue tile next to delight consulting which this is I gain eight more money so I get 17 money and three will go to 20 and we're not done yet for my third activation I'm gonna activate my hotel hotel to get, uh, lose one culture again, and get seven more money, which is now 27. Nice. So you've done all your activations? I am done all of my activations. All right, so now we reposition construction tiles, although we are gonna be hitting one of these guys. So uh, again, trying to clarify that, it'd be good to know. But for now, we're going to move them. I don't move either of mine. You move one of yours. I do move this guy. And who's going to come over here? 
The one good the one good thing I'm really particularly happy with the the designer of this game is very active on, on BGG, BGG the rules clarifications. The rules clarifications. So, so I think if the if the question I have is not there about this, it will be there. He'll answer if I look. Obrigado, Tiago. Thank you for the game. Uh, thank you for being so uh, responsive to uh, questions on BGG uh, about this game. So uh, we've had a lot of fun with it so far. Yes. There's rumor, or someone someone said, posted a message about we should be bugging Mercury Games about an expansion for this. So <laughs> I don't know if that's in the works. Uh, so if uh, Mercury Games or Tiago wants to comment and let us know whether or not uh, you know there's a possibility of an expansion, but the game is certainly ripe for uh, expansion possibilities. Mm -hmm. So uh, where are we at? So advance the remark the next base. We're gonna do this next, but that's okay. Move the tiles down. I'm gonna suggest that we we do the um, the build before we move the construction token. Why are there three here? Oh, because there was one you bought in this one. Yes. So only one of these is gonna come out. Tricky. Ouch, ouch, ouch. And then add new tiles to Curtis. We did we, that. We have to build one of our prosperity tiles. So I already know which one I'm building. So I'm building the subway. Now I need to have equal or greater um, public service and tourism buildings. We both have six, so it's equal. Um, I'm going to put it down here. Now, its benefit is when I build something adjacent to it, um, they don't suffer the penalty for not having... Ah, the adjacent. No However, it doesn't. Right. No building ever affects itself, so that's not going to affect itself. But I am going to put it up here, so we'll take minus two for not being next to uh, a purple building. I'm placing the international bank, uh, which I can place because I have to have more employment than anyone else, which I do, and it'll get me victory points at the end of the game, or sorry, prestige points at the end of the game based on my position on the money track. For every six uh, money I have mm -hmm. at the end of the game, I will get a prestige point. All right, so uh, that, however, because um, I don't have it placed in the construction zones, I have to take a two prestige point penalty uh, <coughs> for that. Any, uh... I'm looking, okay. I have, uh, I have a, a negative, two negative ones. Um, so hold on, I need two more. That's not really going to be useful. Um, give me a negative three. I'll trade in a negative one and take a negative three. There we go. I didn't put them all out because there's there's a lot. So we'll with more players, you would use more of these tokens. There there are many put aside. Yeah. It's actually most of them are out. But so now we'll move into round ten. We've placed the new tiles out. We're good, and we start the next phase. So top of the order is to choose. Initiative and Tracy gets to choose first. Sorry. Just had an issue there. Um, yes. I. <coughs> yeah, Excuse I'm going to be crazy. Sorry, it goes here actually. So it's going to cost me four times, so I don't want to spend too much. I think it's already cost me eight just to do that alone. One, two, three, then the 15. It's expensive. It's an expensive move. And I'm going to stay right where I am for six. So uh, from 27, I go to 21. So we'll stay in that order. Yeah. All right. Um, and at the top of the order, I will choose one of my building tiles. So we have the airport, uh, the Technotech Inc. as the Belt and Howell Labs, Bell and, Bell and Howell Labs for... Uh, yeah and then the community center. So what do I want? It's a good question. I think I have an idea. Based on. Uh, I don't really know when that was coming out. I'm gonna spend two to get the Belt and Howell Labs. That gets me one, two, three on the progress track. I'm gonna place this one. Where do I wanna place this? I'm gonna place it up here. 
Uh, I don't have any yellow uh, industry tiles, so I don't take a penalty for that. It's in the right construction zone, so I don't take a penalty for that. Um, I already moved forward on the progress track. I moved forward two on the employment wow. track. We're and going pretty high up there. Um, I get negative two, so I get to here, and then I lose another population. So necessarily my population is going to go down one, but also my employment is going to follow it because I can't have more employment than population. So that being resolved, uh, that is placed. Now I do get a bonus here when, um, no, that's when I activate a tile. So I don't get that bonus right away. Would that have been a good place to build it? Yeah, we'll, we'll leave that as it is. So I'm gonna take this guy because this guy has some end game scoring that I kind of like. Now, I can actually play it up here because it doesn't suffer when I build it. Correct. It doesn't suffer the adjacent equal penalties. So I can play it up there. I believe that's how I'm interpreting you can that even, correctly. You can even play it up here if you wanted to. Away I from could, your construction zone. I could, but I want to move the construction zone sure. because I have a plan. Hopefully, yep. depending on what comes out, I have a plan. Because endgame will give me two points for every green building that's adjacent to it. So, so I'm just going to move that over there out of the way. Uh, so that one will gain me two on this track, one, two, and then two on the progress track. So I'm going to go to LZ. And, um, yeah, that's it. Okay, so let's look at tourism. I'm still ahead on the tourism track, on the uh, culture track, so. Uh, this actually would have moved, by the way. It does right? move up, so we're tied, however, the green player loses lose ties. Twice, so. If the green player gets ahead, then suddenly they're winning. And no one gets. And no one gets any, um, at least none of us would get any right. any of the uh, tourist tokens. But as green loses, I still win, and I get blue's tourist token um, as blue is losing the culture war. I gotta get my population up. So now we do activation, and in turn order, we can do our activations. Now I only have two energy cubes, but I do have the two uh, tourist tokens that might be able to help me here. Would you like to do? I think what I'd like to do is activate this guy. No, that's not so good. It's only going to gain me that. I could activate this guy to go up one on the population track. And then with my two energy cubes, I'm going to activate my Belt and Howell Labs. Nice. Which is going to give me one on the employment track. Lower and end. because I activated something next to generally electrical, mm -hmm. I'm going to get six money. Yeah, my early buildings, I was planning on getting a lot more culture than I have. But a lot of them are spending what I don't actually have. Which makes me a little sad. So I do have two activations. However, I don't think I'm going to be able to do both. So not based on what I've got here. that so I'm gonna oops oopsie I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go I'm gonna lose one and then my second one I have to spend three dollars so I have to lose two to go mm -hmm. up one on that track on the public services track and do I gain any adjacent cubes if I trigger a green I go up on a culture so I get back up on a culture <laughs> and that green is adjacent to that one yeah yep and Taking a quick look here, I don't think I really want to do anything else. Nope, that's it. I'm just going to activate one. Okay. So keep my cubes, they're very important. All right, so uh, that is the executive phase, uh, administrative phase. So reposition uh, surrounding construction tokens. This one's surrounded. So I'm going to play it. Um, so I want to play it there. Get the one that does the other. And then advance the round marker. We haven't done that. This guy's going to go up, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, move the tiles down one row. Two more are going to come out. And we only have two more turns, two more rounds. 
And at the end of this round, we'll place another prosperity tile if we can, or a lake tile if we can't. So top of the turn order, I get to choose my initiative first. I'm going to be st stingy and just pay the six to stay where I am. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're both good, but one is better than the other. So I'm going to actually spend two times three is six. Means my last round is going to be very expensive for me. However, I get a choice of some good buildings there. And you get to choose first. I do. Both are good. One will get me end game scoring, but the other one will get me other scoring, which is much better. Which one's the better of the two? Sorry, why end game scoring? Um, uh, this guy at the end of the game gets me two prestige for every green that's next to it. So ah, okay. The green might be yeah. handy. However, if you're building on your existing one. This yeah. one. First, gets me three on that track. Mm -hmm. So let's do this all properly. And One, I gain two, six. three, which means you're going to get your solar farm. And then this is going to happen. And then I'm going to gain two more culture. Oh, hold on. Let's resolve yeah. the solar farm first. Yeah, I just I want to remember that for that. Okay. So I get six. Six more cubes. And four prestige. So I went up two on the culture track because of my park. When I went up around the power plant, I've gained three on the progress track to trigger that and six more culture, but I lose two on this, which kind of sucks because now immediately I take that action. It's prestige based on where I am there. I'm at level two. So I get two prestige. So I'll trade in a three, four, and a five. Okay. And that is that building. Look at you jumping up the culture track. I know. You almost got it's up crazy. to us. All right. We're winding down here, almost at the end game. And now I'm going to look and see which one of these I want to take. And I think I know what's going to be. So I'm going to grab Harwood Heights. Harwood Heights? Harwood Heights. I'm going to place that next to the hotel. Um, it's going to cost me two. Two? Oh, there's another one Because there. I don't have it placed against my mm. other green ones. However, I get to move up three on this track, mm -hmm. which upgrades my power plant. So I get a solar plant as well. And that gets me five energy cubes, which I'm very thankful for. Really need those energy cubes. Also gets me four prestige mm -hmm. points. There we go. Um, and then it gets me two population. And because I built a different color than red adjacent to my heritage windmill, I gain one culture. Means I'm tied with green suddenly for that. And that's it. Yep, that's one of those buildings. Good thing they left. Okay, so now we do tourism phase. I win tourism because green loses. You do, however, I am no longer in green. Right. So, um, so mine comes back to me. You're yeah, no longer in green, so yours comes back to you. So no one has the... No one gets the green tourism token, so it stays oh. off to the side. Okay. And I'll keep mine. And you still get the highest culture, gives you an extra activation, you just don't get my token. Sorry, no. Um, I do get your token because you are the lowest, you are losing the culture oh. more. Sorry, yes. It's for That's every right. other player in between. That's right. So was this on, this was on this token already, yes. this tile already. So that'll stay as it was. Um, if there were other players in in between, then I would get their token that's, based on their color yeah, position. That's, that's correct. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, and you actually get to resolve your activations first. I do. I do. I and do, you have do. lots of energy to do stuff with. I do. However, I don't. Ha I do have culture now, so I can actually. Uh, oh man, I don't know if there's many buildings that give you. Oh, there's one that gives you population. 
they do exist. There's not many of them that give you population, um, not just as the building bonus, but as like an activation bonus or adjacency. Oh, I probably should have taken that. But oh well. Then the breaks. So while I'm there, I can't do that one. I can't do that one. I could do that one to get some money. So that's not. That's going to cost me one, two, three. It's going to cost me four. Four cubes. That's a lot. Now you do have two activations. I do. good active space. I didn't really plan those out, unfortunately. But that's okay. So I will go for here and get myself seven. So I'm going to just do the one activation. Okay. I'm going to um, activate this guy to pay a culture to go mm -hmm. up one on the employment track. So I lose a culture. I could activate this guy again to go up one more on the employment track and get mm -hmm. myself some positive points there. That would be really nice. going to sorry I just come from here so yep. uh, it cost me four energy it's gonna leave me again energy four for the next phase but that's a lot of points it goes from 15 mm, I guess I should look at sorry that. 13 to 16 so that's three prestige points for now Actually, I'm going to lose three culture in order to gain seven prestige points. So, one, two, three, and I'll get seven prestige points. Sorry, Tracy, can you... Yeah, are there any other number one. ones? No, there are no other number ones. There are anymore. no other number ones. Can I get uh, two threes, please, to get seven points? I activated this to lose three culture and get seven prestige. Yeah, I shouldn't pop it. That's fine. That's fine. Don't yeah. worry about it. I got what I need. Yeah, I'll do that for five. Three and two ones. Oh, I can actually do this. Yay. I think. What do you got there? Hold so on. that was one activation. That was two activations. I technically do have a third activation because I was ahead on the culture. What's, uh, the, what's the other red building there in the middle? Sorry, did the you hotel? see the name of it? It's a hotel? Okay. It's the one we start with. Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't remember, so. Um, can I gain another employment? Mm -hmm. No, not easily. I am going to activate Coal Harbor to gain another population with the hopes that I can gain some more employment in the next phase. Wow. Probably the highest I think I've ever seen those tracks. Yeah, I've never seen anyone get that high before either. Okay. Okay, so, so my, my activations, activations are done. <laughs> so reposition surrounded construction tokens, I do mm, have one. Mine are not surrounded, so I don't have anything to do here. I'm actually going to do doesn't really matter, but maybe I'll kill a second at the end. All right. So, uh, advanced round marker. We're going to build one of these guys. And I have to have the most museums, which I do. I have one museum. I believe. Do you have any museums? I think it's only in the red one. So, uh, with that, I'm going to pay it here. And because we're in era three, it will immediately give me six, six prestige. And I'm just out trying to read what the bottom of that is. And the bottom of it is at the end of each tourism phase, gain two dollars for each current era. Oh, sorry. I thought I was for each tourist marker in my city, including my own. Haven't seen that one before, so. 
So I can do either of these actually at this point. The question is which That's is going to get me the most one. points. So this one gets me prestige immediately mm -hmm. based on the error. So I get five prestige points, which is oh, nice. The other one. Uh, no, this one gets me What's immediately? Pub public services. Oh, interesting. So I'd go from being last in the public service track to jumping up ahead. Yes. Again, this game's got a lot going on. I just realized we'd actually forgotten to do that at the that end of the last era. We did it in the end of the first era, not the second era. Yeah. Okay. There's so many things, so many things to think about with this game. So. Um, and it doesn't actually, uh, oh, it's actually right there. Right there. Right there. It's probably there in right the front of the face. <laughs> So I think I'm going to go for prestige points instead of going for uh, military base and public service. So my prestige points, I can place this pretty much anywhere. But if I place it over here... Which is also the screen, but that's okay. I'm going to lose uh, two prestige points for placing it outside of my construction zones. But I don't have to lose any more because it is next to purple. And it will get me... Um, some extra money because I built something next or so that's for activation. Okay. Maybe I don't want to do that. Maybe I'll put it down here instead um, Sorry one moment oh, yeah. Let's put it here instead So um, again, I'm it's not next to purple so I'll lose two prestige, but I'll gain five so I'll net gain of three prestige okay. There you go um, and then whenever I activate a green building, I will gain one energy cube, regardless of whether the green building is adjacent or not, based nice. on that icon. Very nice. All right. So we move into the final round. Yes. We need two more tiles over there. We do. Actually, those do these come off. off, so we get four new tiles to choose from. Oh, and a little bit of everything. I like that. So we have a high finance square, recycling facility, board game factory. Yes, there's a board game factory. And the Prescott Pharmaceuticals. Gotta love a game that has a board game factory in it. It's awesome. Okay. Um, so top of the order again. Uh, we do all that. We move forward into the last round of the game. And at the start, we go back to initiative choice. So Tracy gets to choose first. Three, four times two. I'm going to do that. I'm going to make you choose. Four uh, times two is eight. I'm going to let you. The worst part is at the very end of the game, we still have to pay this. One pay more where time. we are one more time. We don't move. We pay where we are. So. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to spend three times two is six. There we go. Then take. The last one. to go last so you'll get to go first and pick your first building tile or your last building tile yes money's good some of these would have been nice if they'd come out a little bit earlier so i'm actually going to build the board game factory sure you are i know didn't anticipate that happening at well, all. Well, I mostly want to try to get I'm, out of this, and I'm then just, I can trigger something teasing. over here. I'm just teasing. By the way, this would move up, too. Um, so I can play it here because, again, this means when I build it, I don't have to have the adjacency yep. things going on. So, so you there. immediately get? Uh, two on the progress. One population, yay! Finally, we work on that population, and then one down on this track. All right. Any and other adjacency effects? No, and nothing. If I build yellow, this is if I build green, but green didn't come out sadly. So that I think is is it. All right. So what do we have left over here? Those three energy cubes are hard to say no to. Mm -hmm. Especially when you don't have any. You so want the recycling things. facility is what I'm going to build. And I'm going to build it here. You are going to take minus two. I am going to take minus two. I can give you some other negatives here. I have a lot of here. I really should be cashing them in. 
maybe I'll give you negatives. I'm looking for negative points, and I don't see any. Oh. I know it's rough. It's so rough here's right minus now. one, and I'll give take a minus three. Um, so I place it here, and that will give me four on the progress track. One, two, three, four. One shy of getting my final power plant upgrade, which would have been really nice uh, for me to get, but unfortunately, I'm just one away. It will, however, get me three energy, which is good because I had no energy left. Uh, and move me one up on the public service track. So that gets me back to this position here. Nice. Okay. Um, now, do I have any adjacency bonuses for that? Uh, no, but when you no. build next to it, which is good, but not when you build it and build next to it, which is the last round, so it's not a big deal. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to build next yeah. to it. No, I was just realizing, I'm like, ooh, those are some negative points, but I realize it's not going to matter, yeah. so we're good. Apparently, people don't like living next to a recycling facility, and people Shockingly. don't like being tourists next to a recycling facility. There's not much to see in a recycling facility. Not really. But, you know, I, I really like the thematic the, the thematic elements of the game. Mm -hmm. Makes a lot of sense. All right, um, so that's done. And I love the solar farm. <laughs> just got high school. Solar energy? Solar uh, panels. It's great. So cute. So now we do uh, tourism phase. Now green is ahead, so green will win my tourism token. Uh, blue gets nothing. But I get mine back. Do you get yours back, or does it just go out? Because no, you don't. I get mine you don't. Back. You don't win anything. No, but I also get mine back. Well, me, well, me, <laughs> I'm not sure no. if you do because you you don't. It wouldn't change hands. Yes, it does. We'll need to we'll need to confirm that with with uh, Board Game Geek. No, it's uh, I can look it up in the rules. It says it right in the okay. rules. I'll, I'll take your, I'll take your word for it. Just I I thought it only changed hands to the player who's ahead. So to in my mind, no. only green would be getting getting any new tokens. No, you go through everyone's and you see if they come back to you. Okay. It's just often because Steph would have the of most course, culture almost every of game. Of course, this question comes up in the last round of the game. So realistically, it, it makes very little difference because you have lots of energy cubes. It's one additional energy cube activation. No, but it would matter with this. So I get $2. I, do you want me to just quickly check the rules? I don't want to pause the gameplay okay. for that. So I'm pretty we'll certain that's We'll assume Tracy's correct. However, we will check with BGG later. No, it's in the rules. Or, or in the rule book. I, okay. I remember reading it. Okay. All uh, right. So, uh, where are we at? We're at executive phase. So, I activate one or more. So, I can activate two. So, now that I have some culture and I'm up one, I can do this. So, I'm going to do that and that to lose one. And I will... Gain an employment. Oh, sorry. Yeah, gain employment. That's what I want. Less negative points at the end of the game. Now, do you get any um, bonus effects for triggering? I do. I get $2. Yeah. Anything else? And then I'm going to do this one over here. So it's going to cost me four. So it's going to need to spend at the end of the game that I've got here. Lose a culture to gain $7. Come join me on the seven spot of the culture track. And those are my two activations. All right. Now you only get two activations as well. I do get two activations because technically this is not fair um, as the neutral player has the highest culture. That's correct. Um, so with two activations, I only have three energy cubes. I won't be able to activate two things, unfortunately, with three energy cubes. I could activate any green building to gain another energy cube. Ooh. Hey, there's a plan. So I activate this green building for two energy cubes. It gets me two culture. So I move up to there. Because I activated a green building in my city, I gain an energy cube from the supply. Mm -hmm. And I can take a second activation that costs only two energy cubes. Correct. The obvious one is lose a culture to gain an employment. I like that one. 
There we go. I've done all my activations. So where does that leave us? That leaves us at um, administrative phase, which reposition of the tokens doesn't, doesn't really matter. Doesn't make a difference. Uh, moving tiles down. So again, all again, this stuff doesn't just matter. Doesn't, doesn't really matter. Points moot. So world expo. So a few extra things happen here at the end game one. So let's do the normal uh, employment stuff um, expo first. So gain or lose prestige according to position on the employment track. I'm still at negative three, so I'll take a negative three. And you are very high up. 16 points. I'm gonna give okay. you. I'm gonna give, lots of these. No, I'll give me a 20. So I'm gonna give you. Wow, just because he wants a 20. In token, fact, I, think. I want a 20 token. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's totally legitimate request. Fair enough. All right, I earned that 20 token the hard way. And then unemployment, uh, minor even. So I, sorry. Excuse you me? don't lose anything. I don't lose anything. My population is ahead of my employment track, which means I actually take a negative one penalty because not all my people are employed. Uh, gain or lose on the public service track. Now we're in the same spot. So in this case, again, in the second era, we forgot to do this. Neither of us will give, we'll never, we won't lose the negative two points for being lower than the other, but we will each lose one dollar. So, and that actually matters, even though it's equal, you'll actually uh, gain at the end of the game You'll cash in money, so you actually want to move it down, even though it's it's moot for the mm -hmm. two of us equally. It matters. Next, um, clean up, which we'll just do just to make it easier, so you can see things. All the cubes come away. Well, I I did I gain that two dollars? Can I use my tools? I don't know. Oh well, I forgot about it again. So many things going on. It's easy to forget things. No, 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 no. That's not. I again. I can't remember if I did or not. All right. It's too bad I can't rewind and check. <laughs> it's one of those things you really have to like look at everything, which I find unfortunately means there's a lot of downtime. So in this case, we don't want to do a lot of downtime now. Quiet time. So we are going to miss things because uh, there's a lot to look at and make sure. So if you're trying to do it quickly, you can really overlook things. All right. So let me just sorry confirm here and again because end game has a little bit of different stuff going to move this token over and I'm going to slide my entire city over a smidge. Yeah, so we can actually see it. So next what we're going to do is we do have to pay what our initiative is at the moment. So in my case, I have to pay six. Oh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I have to pay four. A whole four. One, two, three, four. All right. So now, sorry, I'm just going to make it the wish list. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, oh, it's good. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's uh, so first score any end game effect on city tiles. So we're gonna slowly kind of go through our city tiles. In this case, I will get two for the one green beside it. Um, I will gain uh, two in general. So let's just do four. Let's see. End game. You can tell it's end game scoring because it has the little uh, checkered, the flag. The checkered flag. Uh, symbol on it. This one here is for every red building I have, I gain two, and I have four, four of them, so, so I get eight. eight more. So twelve total. Ooh, I get a ten. Very excited about that. Uh, did you? Yep. How much did you gain there? Uh. Because you had four in hand, oh, sorry, and yeah. you added eight, so you should get twelve total. Yep. Good. But you also had two other tokens you put oh, down. Oh, sure. Yeah. There we go. So those are. Yeah. Uh, that's so old count yours now. Okay, so I get for every six money I get a victory point. I have tw ten, so I only get one. So I'll take one. Over here I get for every four culture I get a, a prestige point. Right, my so my culture is there. at uh, uh, eight. Eight. So that's two. Okay. So I'll trade that one in and grab a three. And moving right along, I have nothing else here. Nothing else here. Nothing else gives me end game scoring. All right, so then we will uh, see. Be aware of some end game scoring effects. So please place this for last world expo. That's fine. So a, a point for each remaining um, cube on your power plant. So I have two. I have none. So I get two so points. Trade this in for a three. Sure. Then we will uh, score reduce our economy track. So in this case, for every. Uh, For every four, so one, two, three, four. You get a point. I get a point. So 
So I'll get two points as I have four. One, two, three, four. I'll take and then there's another one. Oh, oh, I grabbed two ones. There we go. Uh, one for each two culture on the culture track. So in addition to his end game scoring, Billy will all score that. So in my case, I'm at seven. So that'll be three. So three. And I'm at eight, so that'll be four. I'm going to hand in a one to get a five. And then one prestige point for each space a player is beyond the last power plant upgrade on the progress track. So I am one, two, three. And I am one, two, three, four, five. Yes. So now I'm just going to move this to the side so we can count up our prestige points to see who won. So what I like to do is just pair off the red and the green tile tokens yeah. of the same value and just remove them and make the counting simpler. Yeah. Ditto. So a negative one to a one, a negative three to a three, and so on and so forth. A negative ten to two fives. So as you can see, it starts to whittle down a little bit there. <laughs> much better scoring than the last two times and I still need to lose five so I'm going to trade in these three and get one back or these two threes and oh get one back. it's so close so I ended up with 25 and I ended up with 20 three four five six seven and eight so a three point difference that's actually pretty close that's I think um, when we played on Monday it was a bit more of a, a gap not a crazy gap but a bit more of a gap so all right, so let's go back to our first person view and say transition. All right, here we are. So that was the Capitals, Cities Through Time. Yeah. So this game has been out for uh, a few years, two years for sure, I think, if not possibly three. Yeah, I was curious about years. that, actually. Is it 2013 or 2014? Just it's looking to see if it's... Uh... But so it's been out for a few years. I believe it's still available. So the one thing about this game is it's deceptive looking. Um, the track is very busy. It's, I know you can put that distance hard to see. The, I do find the tracks do stand out even at this distance. You can see which areas are usable, but there's a lot going on in the background. Um, so this is actually fairly simple. This is where it starts to get really complicated. And not just the strategic of where to put what, like where to put things and how to put things next to things to not lose penalties and try to gain points, but it's keeping track of it during your turn. Like I said, there's a couple times where every time I've played this, I've missed things because you just, you're trying to like make sure you pay attention to everything. So usually unless it's going to affect someone you, you kind of do that stuff while the other person's still taking their turn and make sure you didn't miss anything um in this case we wanted you to see everything we were doing so it was a little bit different so we missed stuff because we didn't want to still have too much downtime um the one thing i noticed really quickly is every time we played a two-player game we often miss the neutral player so the neutral player doesn't do much other than the culture track and then the tourism but this is really hard to remember every single time we've done this three four times at least now at this point um we've forgotten it so with a two-player game yeah. so never have to uh, worry again, about it otherwise yeah um i really love this game actually i would like to see it with more players mm -hmm. um again there's some uh postings in the bgg forums for it where uh, people are suggesting you know let's pressure them to release a, an expansion i think it'd be an excellent candidate for an expansion uh, hopefully Mercury Games thinks that it's an excellent idea and hopefully uh, Thiago uh, has has uh, that in mind uh, you know put the bug in their ear maybe maybe we'll get it done because they published another great game that I really love which is Walled City yes which is actually designed by uh, one of the designers of Daryl Andrews that yes. I was actually just discovered that so yeah. it's a game I was looking at what other games they published and it's kind of cool so mm -hmm. I like that game so yeah, overall, I really enjoy the game. Uh, I like city building games in general. I like the interplay of the different regions and the different uh, 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 districts of, of the city. Um, I like the different uh, tracks that you can uh, take actions on and increase uh, based on the tiles and the various actions you take. 
and the different ways to score points. This game's got a lot of uh, a lot of that. It's somewhat reminiscent of maybe a, a Feld game or a Vital Asserta game in the way you have multiple uh, avenues to score points, and and I really appreciate that uh, in any game. Um, so bright, colorful. Uh, the component quality is good. Um, the art on the tiles is is excellent. If uh, you know a little small for this this vantage point with the overhead camera. Uh, I wish we could have zoomed in closer, but again, we need this fairly wide space in order to lay everything out. We tend to play big games. We tend it's to like play big parasite, games. Right? At some point, we're going to do a Twitch stream for a very small footprint <laughs> game, and we'll zoom right in, and you'll see every little detail. <laughs> but while we're playing these big footprint games, you're going to see that uh, yeah. we'll have to. Now, as we mentioned in gameplay, both of us have mentioned this a couple times, um, thematically. So... You're building your city, that the thematic of you know having to build things next to each other and certain things taking penalties being next to certain things and certain um, tiles or buildings giving you specific benefits really match what they would do in real life. So obviously having uh, residences near shopping places or parks near this and, and stuff like that really is very accurate, I find. So they did a really good job at that. And I also like the thinly veiled pop culture references. Um, similar to what you mentioned, you mentioned the other game by uh, by uh, Gil, Hova. Gil Hova from uh, Formal Ferret Games, which is the networks. In the networks, each of the TV shows that you would produce is you know loosely related to some actual TV show on, on, on real life television. Um, and so in these ones, you know, it's kind of interesting to try and figure out, oh, that, that's what what is that referencing you know mm -hmm. so I had the walled Mart probably can't guess what that one is um, <laughs> generally electrical you know so yeah um, and I, I enjoy the inherent humor in those selections mm -hmm. of names and I think um, even if you're not a uh, big into the X because it has a bit of an econ economic feel you have to plan your moves and use the economy of the different types of tracks to help your city go and build properly um, but I don't find because often I'll, I'll be put off by some economic games and th this one isn't as this one's got a lot of stuff going for it I really quite like it uh, it's appealing in in many many ways so I and uh, yeah I, I just really like it it's it's a game that we played a few times now um, again there are still things you're kind of learning after three or four plays I would but... really like to try this with multiple players hey, nice. so we've far we've played with two we've only ever played with two <laughs> um, when we have other people over we play other games and because this one isn't brand new uh, it maybe doesn't get the the love that it deserves but it is a fantastic game um, it is deceptively complicated I would uh, you know not difficult to learn to play but to, to, to get a decent strategy um, it, there's a bit of thinkiness involved so I would say it's fairly high in the comp complexity rating I would give it a, a solid medium to high rating um, just based on the interplay of the different mm -hmm. uh, building tiles that you can place out. Yeah. Um, but I really enjoy it. I, uh, I enjoy the, the actions that you can take and uh, overall the theme of the game. So for me, it's a, a fantastic game. It really is underrated, deserves a bit more love. Yeah. And uh, I think that's pretty much all I had to say. So if you can get a copy and you like the style and you like the way it looks and the gameplay that we showed you, we I'd recommend picking up. We were fortunate. We only just picked this up not so long ago mm -hmm. um, at a garage sale or was it a used board game we store? Got it was one of the two. I think we got this new. So we got it We got it new, but it, it was reduced price. Like it was on a, on sale or something. something so we got it for a good price. Um, if you see it in a store and you, know, you have any interest in the Euro worker placement city building games, this is an excellent one to add to your collection. Yep. And I think you'll really enjoy it. So without anything else, uh, I'll bid you good night and thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Yes.